There we go. There we go. It should finally be working. Long time no see, Acro. How have you been, buddy? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Yeah, sorry, giraffe. It should be up on YouTube now. Hey, ¿qué tal, Revan? ¿Qué tal, hombre? Sometimes, Essex, I have a really hard job getting it up. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, when, when things just don't want to work for some inexplicable reason, I have a really hard time getting it up. You know? And I try everything. I try turning it on, try turning it off, try turning it on, but I just can't get it up. I don't know why. I don't know why. But hey, I think we're up now. It's probably because of you being here, to be honest, Essex. All right, so what does she do? She dispels all debuffs on herself and gains stealth for two turns. Fine. Bad Batch allies gain a bunch of protection up. That's nice. And defense penetration up for two turns. And 10% turn meter. Not a bad special. If she has crit chance up, Bad Batch allies gain an additional 20%, so 30% turn meter. And an extra 20%, so 60% prot up. That's quite a lot. If she already had stealth and an enemy had zeroed in, she gains a stack of target practice. And that's good. That's good. So you start off with Adaptive Learner, then you use Empathy first, and then she's got part of the squad, which doesn't have an Omicron. That, on in a, that monologue was thick of innuendo. Innuendo. <laughs> All right. At the start of the encounter, if all allies are bad batch, whenever the allied leader begins their turn, Omega gains speed, offense, ooh, stacking offense, stacking to a maximum of 50 speed and 20% offense for the rest of the encounter. While she has stealth, she has 10% crit damage, and when another bad batch ally uses a special ability, Omega assists, dealing 60% less damage. Whilst Omega has defense up, she has additional crit chance. Omega's attacks deal 5% more damage for each buff she has, and 5% more damage for each debuff the enemy has. Isn't that wonderful? This is not a flattering image, though. It's not a very flattering image of poor Omega. So yeah, I feel like we should probably put an offense set on her. You know, thanks to all the ramping damage that she does. You know, she, she does high, high single target damage. But her base offense, for, for a Relic 9 character, 7.8k, it feels like that's really low. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, you got bow today. Nice. Congratulations, Womp. How do you think I feel, Revan? How do you think I feel, buddy? What what does her Omicron actually do? It's a TB one, I think. At the start of battle, all Bad Batch allies gain max health equal to 10% of their max protection for each of their own Relic Amplifier levels, a maximum of 100%. When? Then, they lose all protection, and then they take reduced damage. Okay, so they basically... They're going to gain, if they're all Relic 9, they'll gain 90% additional max protection. Then they'll get Grit, so it con con converts all their max protection to max health, and then they take reduced damage from percentage health effects. At the start of each encounter, they gain 10% bonus protection for two turns for each of Omega's Relic Amplifier levels. Whenever she uses her basic, she deals damage again for each other Bad Batch ally, dealing 50% less damage. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be very useful. Thanks for the bow video, made it easy. Thanks, Paledra. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you've got your bow, man. Congrats. Everybody who got bow today is banned. Is that right, Night Fox? Is it because you didn't get bow today? But you you're getting jar jar, mate. You're getting jar jar. <laughs> Not because of jealousy or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident that um we yeah, won't really get much use out of an R9 Omega, but hey ho. My issue right now is I look at my bad batch and I'm like, there are three at relic five. I need to get these to like relic eight minimum. <laughs> 
I should probably at least get them to Relic 7, just so I can use them on Zepho. Right? But even then, I probably wouldn't use Omega in that team, because you wouldn't want to get rid of Captain Rex. Full R9 Bad Batch? New. No. Well, we know the next one. Our, our next R9 is supposed to be Merin. Look at the state of my damn Night Sisters, guys. Do you know what I mean? My Night Sisters can't do Jack Diddley or Squat. So, we're probably... Probably two months out from R9 Merin. Based on how quickly we got through the R9 Omega. When when did we when did the R9 Omega start? I can't remember, guys. Anybody remember when we started R9 Omega? It was when we got R9 Wampa. Did R9 Wampa, then it was Omega. And I can't remember. Two months, two weeks, sounds about right. Two months and two weeks, yep. Oh, are you joking, Kyle? Yeah, two months, two weeks, there or thereabouts, two days, two hours, two minutes. Yeah. Oh God, I hope not. I don't have any. As you can see, I do not have the materials anymore. My poor, my poor phalanx. He's gonna, he's gonna be, he's gonna be suffering. Oh, I don't need this boomer favorited anymore. We are O2 build Sally ups, but I'm just. I'm exhausted, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so peaceful until you blow that fuse. Karth, are you ready to win round one or potentially lose round one? Because uh, I need you, buddy. I need you. Everybody, we, ha we have to have the stars align here. We gotta have the stars align. Carthric is in a bracket with Arnold. We could be facing Arnold on Friday. We could face Arnold on Friday. Omega works well with Bad Batch. Just keep passing all the turns to her. Thanks, Jar Jar. Have to wait for him to play to see if I need to throw it or not. Indeed, Carth. Indeed. Like it has to happen. Yeah, like, see, si, in serio, Revan, in serio. <laughs> Who? He's this uh, small Galaxy of Heroes content creator. You might have heard of him. His name's Scribble. Yeah. It, like, that would be so cool, man. That'd be so cool. If you'd have, like, gone back in time to three years ago and said, hey, Scribe, you're going to face off against Arnold in GAC, I'd be like, shut the front door. Shut the front door. It's got to happen, baby. It's got to happen. We've got to make it happen. Force it to happen. It has to be done. What's annoying is I can't check. <laughs> oh, you mean Arnold T101? Yeah, that guy. Is that the one on YouTube I don't watch now? I just watch his... This bald guy that's on there. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I don't, I think he's not, he's, he's the Galaxy of Heroes content creator that isn't bald. Alright. It would be cool, Aang. It would be cool. I, like, I would, I would, you know, I would happily, um, acquiesce to any of Arnold's requests for that stream. If he wants to stream it at any particular time, I'd be like, yep, I'm game. Let's do this. Let's do this. It would be tribe versus empire, guys. An underdog story. <laughs> Get my ass kicked by Arnold. That'd be great. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be nice if we were something? Wouldn't it be boo? Boo, boo, boo. Ooh. I like five speed. Five speed makes me feel good. Five speed makes me feel good. We lost some of our Chirotech taking that uh, that Omega up. Very dashy. 
How very dare she take some of our materials. And a whole host of our gear. Tribe rules and empire rules. <laughs> Ewoks versus empire. Yep. Hold up. Missed some of the chat there. If he gets... If he gets it's him messaging game and get it set up? Of course. I've already sent him a message saying we might be able to face off. You know why he still has here? He doesn't make GC. I think you're probably right, Lee. I think you're probably right, mate. Would you do it old school with no datacrons? Hell no. Have you seen Karth's datacrons? That's like me throwing away a massive advantage. <laughs> like, that's that's my one advantage, I think. I haven't looked at Arnold's datacrons, to be fair. I've not looked at Arnold's datacrons. I just, I just know that Karth's are freaking amazing. Finally done with all the exec requirements and we have enough crystals to get it to 5 star right away. Hey, good stuff, Symmetry. I just remember him losing first place in Kaiba 1 to Nest. Keep that in mind. I remember that, buddy. I remember that. I actually had a... Uh, I think back then I had a YouTube video that was poking fun at it. Because it was like one of my gag streams and I said, this is how you deal with the Nest. <laughs> it was only having fun. I wasn't actually taking a piss out of him. You could not English. I could not English either. My, my brain is refusing to get in gear today. Similar to roster reviews, have you considered GAC defense reviews? Yes, I have, Famous Oaks. Comparing usable squads and making recommendations. The thing about GAC defense is it's very particular, right? It's very particular to what you have in general. So you can't make a one-stop shop. And more importantly, it should depend on your opponent as well, right? So I could do it... Um, I could. It it would also be very time consuming though. I mean, I, I, like I could do incredibly high level stuff like, hey, maybe try this, this and this and then move on. But essentially you have to go through everything that, you know, they've got in their rosters, what they would need for attack, what league they're in, how many teams they need in total, what they should set on defense, what they should then take for offense. And then for more valuable information, you should really be scouting your opponent and thinking, well, they've got this, this, and this. Their history shows they usually set this on defense. They've struggled with this um, when they've taken it for offense. So you tailor make a defense to fit it, right? Um, but, it, you know, that sort of thing takes a long time to get through. <laughs> it was Necro a long time ago now. I'm not against doing it though, Oaks. I'm not against doing it at all. Um, it's just whether or not people want to have that sort of advice. It's very restrictive as well. Well, not necessarily. You'd have to do it in the defense phase. So it would have to be like yesterday's stream where we do roster reviews. It would have to be, let's have a look at who you're facing off against. This is the defense that I would run. You have Swigger DG Premium, and I like to scout people out, but I'm 7 mil, constantly fighting 10, 11 million plus, not sure how to overcome it in Kyber 2-3. Certainly can be done. Certainly can be done. Is your live chat working, not showing up in YouTube chat? Oh, whoop. Huh. Yeah, why am I not getting any YouTube chat? I'm really sorry, YouTube. One second. Let me refresh the YouTube chat. YouTube pictures versus Twitch pictures. <laughs> yeah, it does bug out. Is it is it working now? Somebody in YouTube type the messages. Test. Thank you, Alex. I apologize, YouTube. I wasn't ignoring you deliberately. You're all rather beautiful and some of my favorite people in the whole world. The whole wide world, you're all so special. Hi, Spider. Hi, Darth. Cliff. Darth Cliff. Is that like Cliff is in the name or Cliff is in the sheer drop? Both are kind of cool. Naboobies. Rob, we do have we do have the Naboobies now. There is Naboobies on, on my Teespring store. <laughs> Horton, here's a YouTube comment. Yep, indeed. How you doing, Dino? ta -da. As YouTube people are going to declare war on the Titch users, it's going to be an all-out war. Hey Eli, how you doing today, buddy? I'm so sorry, YouTube. I'm so sorry. What, what was that? 
That was Don Zenzi. Don Zenzi, thank you so much for the resub, bro. Which army do I recommend for Bogtan Mandalore? Leader. Leader army is what, like, she doesn't necessarily need, 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 need them, but um, I've got two out of three. So leader is the most important one. And then I like the one that lets her ignore taunt. So way of the Mandalore is the most important one. And I used four Mandalore, which I think is the one that lets you ignore taunt. She becomes immune to daze, which is useful. All light side Mandos at the start. bo ignores taunt effects. And whenever there is an ally is defeated, she gains 20% of their max health and offense. Like the, that, those two are my favorite. There's nothing wrong with reinforcements have arrived. Light side Mandalorian ally gains an additional two stack of ancestral resolve. So it just makes you deal more damage sooner and stuff and have more protection and stuff. If other light side Madame Delorean ally wasn't able to assist, they instead gain a bonus turn. It is good. It is good. But I don't think you necessarily need it. Come and get it, you noobs. <laughs> Come and get you boobies. Get that Phasma Omicron on. I mean, no. Like, Phasma is part of... She's she's highlighted here because I do need to do some TW armies. But I've uh, I've spoken to my guild, and they say she's the least important one. So I'm just going to unfavorite her. Because I don't want her clogging up my favorites. So uh, we've got one of Trenchy Poo Poo's. And I didn't even get to use him. He was on defense. Hey, Kim. I can see you. This guy. Hey, Wolfie. Hey, Wolfie. Okay. Now, I'm just going to... If you guys could just do, like, te text-to-speak stuff so I can come back over here and just have a quick nap for the next half hour or so, that'd be really good. All right. Talk amongst yourselves and wake me up in, I don't know, quarter two. That'll be a good time. I mean, if, like, people like Amaranth can just, you know, sleep stream. Surely I can too, right? That seems fair to me. Mood? For real, for real. We did win, Boto. Did you guys win? R8, R9. <laughs> My boy will sleep through Gak. Dancing? Dancing, brother. We don't sleep through Gak. I'm hoping that the excitement of a new week of GAC will wake me up. You won as well? Good stuff, Boto. Are you watching Lord Vader gameplay to get it? Yes. It's, um, so what I do to go to sleep each night, guys, it's, it's not like sounds of the sea or rainforest music. I listen to myself recording, reading through the kit description of all of Lord Vader's abilities. That's, that's what gets me off to bed at night, you know? I just a couple of seconds into that, and I'm just like, that's it. That's it. You know? The new Wednesday evening show, watching Welshmen sleep. Hell yes, Vin. Like, who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't want to tune in for that? What's going on, Georgia? I'd rather sleep until Phalanx tomorrow. That, that You'd be sleeping a long ass time, dude. That'd be like 20 hours of sleep. Who needs Gak? We need Gungans. <laughs> Currently sitting in Erodium 1 and hoping 3v3 doesn't push me up. My roster is not ready for Kyber. Hey, Dino, if you're not ready for it, you're in the good position, buddy. You've got to push yourself. You do have a very soothing voice. Thank you, Symmetry. Hey, Necro Buddy, thank you for the resub, dude. How, how, like, didn't you literally sub yesterday? <laughs> I'm confused. Or, or did you literally drop like 40 subs for everybody else? <laughs> but thanks for the resub, dude. Your point? I need to catch up on sleep. There's catching up on sleep and there's sleeping for basically an entire day. I'm going to get myself some ice cream. Maybe you should too. Ice cream. Ice cream is for the weak. No, it's not. Uh, oh, shit. I'm, I'm old. I'm old. My eyes are old and bent. No. <sighs> I need a new boom arm. This thing is fudged. It's fudged. My night times are currently on JST mornings. JST? Anakin subbed everyone. Yeah, Anakin basically 
he 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 got everybody that was watching that stream yesterday a sub basically what a top bloke although he did force me to r9 omega so I'm not sure he's that nice really if i donated 60 to finish the fund would you give me two roster reviews would you give me two roster reviews one for me and one for my buddy we play this game at work i uh, i mean yeah of course i would <laughs> You should play a game, and the loser applies the Phalanx Omicron. Oh god, no! Dude. Should I make that bet with Arnold? Loser applies the Phalanx Omi? <laughs> oh my, oh my god. <laughs> And it'll be fine, because I'll just do it on Karth's account. It's fine, he'll be fine. Karth, you don't mind me putting the phalanx on me in your account, right? <laughs> Karth, Karth, look, listen, mate. Sometimes you got to take one for the team. <laughs> phalanx will on me will depend on CG's implementation. <sighs> yeah, there is that. Karth was going to do that one anyway. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think he was. He just made chopped cheese. Chopped cheese? Is that just cheese that you've chopped up? I don't think that's something you make. Just because I have eight armies banked does not mean you get to spend them. Well, Karth... If I lose that match, I'll be in your account. My finger might just slip. It might just slip, buddy. Thanks for the follow, Adrian. Appreciate you, dude. Welcome to the tribe. Please hold, trying to f find out how to donate on your phone. Quite all right, buddy. Are we expecting Jar Jar in two weeks? Or have you heard anything? Um, Adrian, it's best to go through my PayPal if you are donating, mate. Um, are we expecting Jar Jar in two weeks? I haven't heard anything, Tadana, but... Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it comes soon after. Um, so if you were being serious there, Adrian, you can, I think it's that one. No. Oh, that's the wrong chat. Apologies. It's that, uh, that link there if you wanted to donate. Very kind of you. Um, Sugar, what was I going to say? I, I haven't heard anything, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Jar Jar event comes very shortly after the release. Just because it feels like CG has been pushing this new marquee set really hard, giving us a lot of advantages on getting this team up and running early. So they might do it a real quick release now, and then he's either going to be a monthly release, always inside the journey guide, or he's going to be like gone now and appears right when the raid is about to start. So, but um, haven't heard anything. But, you know, it's not like Meathead is going to be like, hey, by the way, the Jar Jar event is coming on the 19th. You know, he's not going to tell me that. He won't tell me that. Not even, not even if I told him I'd give him a back massage. I did offer. He had no interest in it. Is Karth bald? No, he's not. He has just got a shaved head at the moment. Haven't you, Karthrick? Because the summer is coming and it gets hot over there. And he's like, if I'm outside, you know... I don't know what Karth does when he's working. Yells at people to do stuff, I think. Um, if he's outside doing stuff and things, he doesn't want to get all hot and sweaty in the skull. So it's the 19th. So you're telling me it's the 19th? That's right. Using a whip? He does. He uses cool whip. That's how he does it. If I bought the Lightspeed Bundles, who is the most important Proving Grounds character to get? Good question. Ben. I don't actually know if that's true. I mean, probably Ben. Probably Ben. Because you'll have Ray. Get Ben. Get Zori. Pretty good position. The thing about Meathead's back is that it's located on his back. 
I've always respected you for getting Gak out of the way so fast. It lets me watch your stream, then Arnold's stream the next day, and Sunjita's later video later that day. That's a good way to be, Dino. That's a good, I try to, I try to, if I can, get to see some of Arnold's Gak streams, but I usually stream on that day as well. So I do my Gak stream the day before, usually, and then the day after I'm usually casually streaming when Arnold is doing his Gak. Although I shouldn't really. I should really skip the Tuesday stream, but that's usually our roster review stream day. And I don't want to upset people and take that away from them. Karth can afford Karth can afford to lose an army. He can he can afford. He told me he told he just direct messaged me saying, you know what, Scribble? I'm willing to take one for the team. I will sacrifice and put that phalanx on me on my account if you lose. He told me. Hey, what's going on, Zion? How you doing today, buddy? Have have I got any advice for your first gak round yes earth and moon absolutely don't put everything on defense make sure you save yourself some toys for offense so you can figure out what works most importantly have fun that's the most important thing for your first round and don't be surprised if you're massively outmatched i do have bogotan yes is she worth it? she's definitely great stelios she's she's fantastic character bogotan is um I think there are many, many things that people should farm before bo -Katan, but she is st certainly very good. Karth is a really good guy, yeah. Karth is a really good guy. The only time we don't attack directly in GAC, uh, like immediately, is on the Friday nights. Friday nights I, I stream much later to be more accommodating to people that live in America and Canada and all that sort of business. So we do a late night here in the UK. So it's usually a couple of hours afterwards, maybe three or four hours after the start of GAC. And then on the last round of each week, the Sunday evening when attack phase goes live, we, we're usually doing Tribe Talks, the podcast. And I'm usually burned out after Tribe Talks and I just don't feel like doing GAC. I just want to go to bed. So I usually do that on the Monday. Zion? Why are you up at 20 past four in the morning, my friend? Oh, yeah. You're from the UK as well, FN. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I do that Friday streams once. Uh, like, I've been trialing it for a couple of months now just to see how it gets on. It's usually positively received by the people that are there. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it. Maybe it is. It's still my busiest stream. It's always the busiest stream. What's this funky things you guys called sleep? Tuesday, innit? Tuesday. 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 It would if Carthrick took one for the team, then we can see if it does any... I mean, you know, the, the thing is, guys, the only reason I'm willing to put that army up for grabs is because I know we're going to win. I just... We're just going to win. It's, it's an underdog story. Everybody loves an underdog. Tiny little scribble in his tribe of merry men and women versus the might of the empire tribes were built on re rebellion hope i think or something like that oh i'm sorry greg i i've already had people message me about this it's it's my fault i'm really sorry uh, i've been i've been very poor at keeping up to date with the uploads i will i'll do my best greg to get that up tomorrow probably now uh, i'll get the last one up there tomorrow Tuesday. Bro's a born winner, you know it. You know, I mean, with a face like mine, the only thing I lost is my hair. You know what I mean? Thanks, Barrick. For the Faro Islands, sick. You know what I've always wanted to do? I've wanted to get like an interactive map up and check off all of the countries across the world that we've got viewers in. You know what I mean? The Welsh World Cup. <laughs> a streamer wouldn't. A streamer wouldn't lie. No, of course not. I also thought Ben, but I didn't hear some good points for Cat. Uh, but you did hear some good points for Cat. Yeah. Yeah, no, Cat is fantastic, but there's no light speed bundle for JMK. So, yeah. And yes, she does fit an array team, but honestly... I'd say Ben gives the more technical use to a Ray team than Cat does. 
Cat is really good because it gives her a lot of additional survivability and a lot of additional offense. But I think Ben, especially with the current Datacron set, helps her more. Arizona checking in. Arizona. Holy hell. Can't watch live most times. Enjoy the show on my commutes. Oh, good stuff, Greg. Yeah, I'll, I'll try my best, buddy. I'll try my best. I'll try and get it up to Lamont tomorrow. Um, so it'll be in about... Probably about... No, not, not 24 hours. Maybe 20 hours or something. Aw, oh, thank you, Rob. Indy does need dreamies. She's a very hungry little girl. She's a very hungry little girl. She has the sharpest of the fangs and claws. Malaysia. Zion, you're from Malaysia, my friend. Holy moly. I've always wanted to go to Malaysia. Oh, well, I say that. Isn't Malaysia a really massive place? I've heard it's a very beautiful place. What about both? I mean, both is always good, Big Ninja. Both is good. Switzerland. So, so far, we've had Arizona. We've had Malaysia. We've had Switzerland. Hungary. No, that's Bazinga just saying hungry. <laughs> Iowa. Where else have we got, guys? Is there such a thing as an interactive map I can I can tick off? Adrian nine thousand and twelve tipped fifty five pounds. Ally for me is three hundred and eighty three one hundred and ninety two five hundred and forty four. Bud is five hundred and twenty six wow. nine hundred. Thank you so much, Adrian. Seven hundred and ninety six. <laughs> I have only been playing for like three months. He has been playing for years on and off. I know about my mods. I just don't have credits. Lol. I'm always broke. He also is aware of his mods. Just looking for advice. <laughs> It's so funny when you get the text to speech guy just going off. <laughs> I know about my mods, lol. All right, so what? Uh, uh, thank you so much for that donation, dude. We will definitely get you your Ross reviews done before this gap gets live. Now I'm just gonna see where where we've got people from right now. Where have we got people from? So Arizona, Germany, London. Probs not exotic enough. Oxlane, of course it is. Pennsylvania. Jar Jar is from the entirety of the UK. It's very hot, to be honest, could it 40 degrees. Wow. Uh, we've got Pennsylvania, Austria, Illinois, Greece, Texas. I'm searching, but coming up dry. Le Sweden, Italy, Inglaterra, Scotland. We have Hungary. We do have Hungary. We do. Aiden's from Hungary. Sick. Uh, leave it to the Americans to name their state, not their country. <laughs> Far too close to Wales. Not close enough, you could say. England, Cymru, Kiru, Shamaya Khan, Tiaun. Our states are sometimes bigger than countries. They are. Indiana. D's Nuts. Carthrick is from D's Nuts. Uh, I think that's uh, in Arizona as well. Uranus. MJ is from Uranus and he goes there a lot. He likes to visit to Uranus. Uh, Ohio. Oh, Ohio. North Dakota. Is there a South Dakota? New York. Riggs is from New York. What's the secret to having as much fat percentages? <laughs> you eat your hair. Um, I'm from Romania. Romania as well. Two people from Romania. Back to back. Maine. No, no, no. Frenchy. We're American. Sevilla. Teatro Evan. Donde es en Sevilla? Es un, uh, es un ciudad muy bonita. Y tenemos las um, edificio uh, de Palazzo. Well, Plaza de España. En La Phantom Menace. La Phantom Menace, ¿no? Y uh, La Alcazar, también. Poland. Coruscant. Mischievous Grievous is now from Coruscant. Not to defend the Americans, but their states are more, uh, more of the times bigger than Switzerland. That's true. Naboobies. Rob's from Naboobies. Gruetzi. No one knows if there is a South Dakota. They just keep on going south from North Dakota looking for it. And they're like, where is it? Texas is bigger than every country listed so far. We got bigger guns too. Washington State, New Jersey. Bro's head reflects the glory of Jesus. I do. No boobies. <laughs> Except for maybe Germany and Malaysia. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Plaza de España. In Naboo, Attack of the Clones. Yep. 
Yeah, it's the uh, Palace of Thede, isn't it? Are you aware of Spanish or Vanish? Duolingo song? I'm not, actually. I'm all over the place, Scribe. There are, <laughs> these Jedi are relentless. <laughs> I swear I ordered an Abubis mug. Did you? I didn't get any notification of anything to come through. But you should. You should totally drink from the cup of Naboobies. <laughs> Can't find the shipping cost. Uh, let me check for you, Karth. Let me check for you. All right, hang on. Now, we did have a rather massive donation that maxed out the Phalanx Fund, so thank you for that. And that's for two roster reviews. So let me open up um, so we can actually see who we're reviewing here. Adrian, you still in the chat, dude? I would hope so, after all that. Data reports. There we go. Texas would be the 40th biggest country if it was a country. That's huge. Most of the states are larger than some European... Co yes, sir? About to record you. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, so let me have a look here. Just need to... Uh, I'm just getting up what you uh, said. I don't know why it's... It's like cut off half of what you said, unfortunately. Um, okay, I've got your ally codes though, so let's go ahead and jump that in. I will start for you. You've only been playing for three months and he's been playing for years on and off. You know about your mods, you just don't have credits. So Ad Adrian, let me know like, is this something you want me to have a look at in your account? What do you want me to help with, buddy? Because the message is cut off, unfortunately. This is Adrian, 19012. 3.8 million? Yeah, you have. You are, you are, you're brand new, baby. You're brand new. Snack Bars Elite. I love the guild name. <laughs> look at that. Maxed out our uh, Phalanx Fund. Thank you so much, dude. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Seeing as though we just blew all of our stuff getting Omega to R9, we're going to need to get some gear. Texas has been part of six different countries. How does that work? I mean, I, I trust you guys. I'm sure it has been, but um, I don't know how it works. Okay, so 3.8 million. Let's have a look. I can see a slacker in here already. All right, so... Holy moly, your slacker, your slacker has got less power than your Mace Windu. That, you don't see this very often. Mace Windu having more GP than the GL. <laughs> Works through sorcery. Just general stuff, what do you think? Uh, we should farm things like that. No problem, dude, no problem. I'm assuming slacker is a relatively recent unlock for you because we're missing a couple of Zetas and obviously missing that ultimate. So it's probably just a case of, oh, I unlocked him recently, just don't have all the stuff and things available. Oh, you got an ad. Okay. How have you got an ad? Haven't you got, like, I, I would have thought you had uh, Twitch. Ah, oh, they... Carthrick is like, here, no more ads for you. Thank you, Carth. Very kind of you, dude. I'll just wait for Adrian to confirm that he is back in the room. Oh, we're back in the room. Let's have a look at your ships. Have a look at your ships. I mean, this is where I would, this is where I would focus for sure. This is where I would focus. We'll just wait for Adrian to come back and say, Hi, I'm back. Looks like we've had at least a little bit of that Hueli boy action. During colonization, the land was owned by France and Spain, and Spain got a lot of it. Eventually, Mexico rebelled, and it was its own country. Then Texas rebelled and became a country. Ireland? It's, a, it's all good, Sandra. It looks like we, we've managed to hit all of the UK. And, oh, well, actually, are you Northern Ireland? Or are you Republic? Not that it, you know, but technicalities and all that. Uh, Windu is better than Slacker confirmed? Confirmed. Confirmed. Absolutely. I mean, you can see it here. Mace Windu is number one, baby. Like, screw Palpatine. Mace Windu is the one. Makes sense to me. Looks like Texas has got quite a colorful history then. All right. So... So I don't know if this was a um, Lightspeed Bundle galore stuff, or it was... Oh, uh, hang on. This looks like we've got a couple of Lightspeed Bundles kicking around in here. A couple of Lightspeed Bundles kicking around, just plodding around. Looks like it's definitely a Lightspeed Bundle with a little bit of that Starkiller. Yeah, okay. So 
I think I have a feeling that Adrian probably had a couple of Lightspeed bundles thrown his way all at once. Mace scribes lost twin. Yes, yes, of the slightly darker skinned variation. I mean, I, I would love to make that comparison, but, you know, Mace Windu is like infinitely cooler than your boy scribe. He has a lightsaber, right? Well, I, I've got a, I've got a pretend lightsaber. The Confederacy of Independent Systems, indeed. Hang on, that mace is missing a mod. Hold up. It's the most powerful unit and you're missing a mod. He did say I know about my mods. <laughs> Thanks for logging in early and reminding me to update the defense. Get it done. So oh, I need to update my defense. Never mind. All right, surely he deserves a full mod set. You'd think, Oxlane. You'd think. You'd think. And he has the army. I'm kind of curious. Let's let's have a look. Adrian, I needed it for Slacker. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, cool. So you've had a couple of the Lightspeed bundles. We already saw that you've got the Resistance Lightspeed bundle. You got Star Killer. You haven't got the gear on him yet, but you did unlock Star Killer. Um, you're obviously missing a couple of Zetas. You're probably Zeta broke right now, thanks to a bunch of Lightspeed bundles sort of giving you more characters than you reasonably have resources to apply with. And that's fine. That's fine. You're just going to have to play the long game and catch up on those Zetas. So realistically, I'd say Fleet is where you're missing out most. You're probably a pretty new player overall because you can be relatively new and boost yourself up a couple of hundred thousand, couple of million probably with all the light speed bundles because they just add so, so much to your roster. Um, so it's no surprise that you don't have a whole bunch of Zetas, but you also don't really have a whole bunch in the fleet department. You have finished off your home one, obviously you've finished off the Endurance and it's such a great capital ship. It's not. Um, and the finalizer, of course, these are the ones that you needed for your GLs. Obviously, you need that extra star there on the Radis in order to unlock your Ray. And I do recommend that you unlock Ray. But once you've finished with Ray, OK, because if we take a look at your resistance, you don't need a whole lot. You need BB-8 and you need JTR. I don't think C-3P or R2 are requirements, although R2 very much helps in the unlock event. Hey, Swolo, thank you so much for the resub. Where is the Leviathan, man? Indeed, where is it? Um, so you're not far off unlocking GL Ray as well. And the only thing, like, there's no point, realistically speaking, in getting light speed bundles unless you're going to take full advantage. And taking advantage in this instance would mean try to get that Ray unlocked as soon as possible. After you've got those two GLs up and running, I highly, 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 highly recommend you start pushing for some good capital ships. In that instance, your choices are going to be either... Profundity or Executor. Typically speaking, Executor is the easier ship to get, but in my opinion, not quite as rewarding, especially in the short term. Because the Executor, it doesn't operate quite as well as the Profundity at low stars, right? So the Profundity, you could use at four stars and you could do very well with it. You could climb through Fleet Arena and stuff like that, unless you're facing off against a bunch of other stuff with more stars, essentially, right? Um, whereas the executor can do that, but it does struggle a little bit more. If you get it to five stars, it's a little bit easier. So you've got that extra reinforcement. If he's done the slacker unlock event, he should have mods good enough for Ray, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can be tricky. You might drop some tickets. You're slow farming JMK. So I'm, so I'm going for that ship. Just need time, I guess. Yep. Dublin. Sandra's from Dublin. Dublin's a wonderful, wonderful place. I do like Dublin. Um, I've been twice to Dublin. Once went to go and see Ireland beat Wales in rugby. That was that was six years ago, something like that. You get rank eight to first in fleet right now. It's just hard to do. You actually... Wow, okay. So it's, it's got to be an early fleet shard then, right? Where are we playing? Yeah, you're ninth at the moment, but I suppose the R5 Hounds 2 does kind of help in that instance. Interesting. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Yeah. All I'm saying is that that fleet isn't going to last for long. It's not going to stay there forever unless nobody else is buying light speed bundles in your fleet shard, I guess. Nevertheless, nevertheless, 
you really should be trying to push for Executor or Profundity at some point. If you want to be pushing for Jedi Master Kenobi, there's nothing stopping you. But be warned that Jedi Master Kenobi, without having Commander Ahsoka Tano in your roster, doesn't really do much of anything. Well, I mean, he does. He does. But it's just... It's a, like he's a, he's, a, he's a shadow of what he can actually be if he does not have Commander Ahsoka Tano in the team to support him. His entire kit was built around having her in there. So missing out on her, you'll, it will feel like a bit of a disappointment. Uh, so we, Adrian kindly donated uh, a, a big heft of money to have him and his, his friend a, a roster review. So we're going through that before the GAC begins. To the English, is London worth visiting? I've heard from locals that most locals hate London. Uh, I go to London for work, Texas. Uh, I don't mind visiting. I'm not sure if I'd want to live there. It's very, very busy. JMK without, without cat is like pizza without cheese, pasta without sauce. Indeed. It's just a bit sad. Aren't you missing what charts as a new account? Can you ever, can you even get JMK? You could get JMK. You know, you can still earn what chance, but it's going to take him time. JMK is Cat's Lifter. That's definitely one way of looking at it. So it's just something to keep in mind um, while you go for that grind. I'll never stop someone saying, look, I'm, you know, Jedi Master Kenobi is my dream. He's my dream guy. I love him so and I must have him. Nothing will stop me from my pursuit of JMK. That's fine. That's fine. Because ultimately this is game and everybody should have fun. Just I want you to be aware of the pitfalls along the way. And the pitfalls would be... If you don't have Cat, you're not going to get the best use out of him. The time it takes for you to get up to JMK, you could be spending on better things that will help round out your roster a bit more. Which would, in my opinion, be some meta fleets. Um, and different GLs in general. So like Jabba, for example, is always a better GL to have. Um, for anybody's account, really. But there's nothing wrong with pushing for JMK. You're still ultimately getting an incredibly powerful unit, one of the top eight units in the entire game, because all of the GLs take those top eight spots. Hey, peace out, Arkan. Thank you for joining, dude. I -o! Just as C is Bane's lifter. I mean, it's not even like it. I, I mean, I suppose it kind of is, but most lifters are almost a case of you just don't want to use the GL without the lifter unit. Whereas Bane is just like, I can do pretty much everything without you, see, but if I really want extra comfort, I'll take you. <laughs> Still wonder why JMK is declared as an attacker. His, his team is so tanky. Without Cat, there is no damage. I mean, it just takes JMK a little while to ramp, but um, he can deal good damage. Community question post on the forum for Phalanx. Oh, we'll get to that later. Bane is almost a ninth GL. It's actually, you're absolutely right. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, there are, there are other GLs that are easier to get off the floor and running and provide your roster with more. But if you want to go for Jam Cake, absolutely. I would highly recommend, though, that you get a good capital ship before you do that. Um, in this instance, it would be probably Executor just because it's easier to get, you know. And that would actually give you quite a lot of the requirements that you need for C as well, because you've already got Slacker. So Slacker and Executor feeds very well into getting a C. All right. Now you do have Star Killer, and Star Killer is a very, very good unit. And typically, you'd want to be using him in a, a very prescribed team, right? So you'll be having Palps, and I like to see you've got the double Zeta. You don't necessarily need both. Um, his leader is the important one. So you'd go Palpatine and Mara Jade. She's missing a Zeta, I think. Um, excuse me. <sighs> You will obviously have to take Starkiller himself. You need a light side online force user until you get someone like Visus Mar. Excuse me, I didn't mean to click there. That was supposed to be a drag. Until you get someone like Visus Mar, you can just use Scavy Ray. Scavy Ray, look at her, um, as the light side online force user. And then you need a Jedi. And it's always preferable, in my opinion, to have a Jedi tank because of in GAC with the Omicrons on Starkiller, it can passively taunt with damage immunity, right? And out of this lot, I would probably choose old Ben. What's a min relic for Bane? He's an attacker. I honestly wouldn't go below relic 5, and even relic 5 to me feels too low. So, R7. Hey, Kaicho, how you doing? Imagine Bane's proving ground. It's just him and C. Yeah. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm very tired these days. So yeah, I think obviously you've got a really good position here. And it's obviously an early account that um, you, you're fortunate enough to have had a bunch of light speed bundles to be like, woohoo, let's go ahead and have some fun and get to experience the end game a little bit. Still kicking it, so it's good. Yes, absolutely, Kaicho. Me too, brother. Me too, brother. You've also got some decent bounty hunters going on here. Grief, Mando, Bosk. So you can get a good bounty hunter team going on. You just throw in out of this lot. I would go Bosk, Lead, Boba Fett, Grief Karga, and yeah, Cad Bane. And these all feed in. Well, they don't all feed into. But some of these will feed into an executor fleet as well. So that's all good business. Main reason to get Bane from Conquest is to avoid having to deal with him in Proving Grounds. That Proving Ground idea would be nasty because the ruler too. Yup. Yup. Is it worth taking Bosk any further than Relic 5 for Exec? So, yes. Yes, it is. But not necessarily for Exec. Like, Houndstooth is an annoying ship. There's no doubt about that. But typically speaking... A better Bosk doesn't necessarily make that fleet harder, but an R9 Bosk is very useful in the team in general. I like mine still R5. I would love to take him to R9, um, simply because he's a really good tank and it'll help you deal with certain teams. Like it, there was a time where you could use Bounty Hunters to beat Lord Vader, for example, in 5v5 using an R9 Bosk. It's far more likely to have that Bosk survive the battle which just means better banners and higher success ratios, right? And that's just one example of being able to use him. You put our Bane R8 and Sith Empire Trooper in Arena and had fun. Only Master Kenobi is trouble? Yeah, it would be. R9 Merin is greater than an R9 Bosk. I'll keep telling myself that. Yeah. So you've got some good teams going on here. I would probably prioritize um, getting your Ray next and make sure you get Zori up. Just because you've got the team up and running, essentially. Uh, too many R's, not enough I's. Stupid typing. So, Zori, you've already got the resistance team. Having Zori in there is one unit that will give you a very, very powerful GAC team. So, I'd recommend getting her up there. Try to get her to Relic 3 if you can. I know, I know, it's a big ask. It's a big ask. You said you also know about your mods. Your mods need work, and that's totally, totally cool. This is obviously a relatively new account. You're just going to have to make sure that you prioritize farming your mods every single day forever for the rest of your swigger days because that's what everyone has to do. I did put out a guide on mods recently on my channel. Make sure you search for it. Uh, it'll go over the basics of, you know, what mods are and how to use them and why they're important. Um, and that's, I mean, that's kind of it, dude. Like in the early game, you just need to make sure that you've got a plan and you stay focused. Yeah. So... Set yourself a long-term goal and make sure that your focus is unwavering and you get that long-term goal, yeah? Mods make me sad. Yeah, me too. Alicia, how you doing? Uh, Kaicho, yes, this is a roster review and we've got one other before the start of the uh, GAC. So, Adrian, if you're still around, any questions? If not, I will, I will move over to your friend's account. Solid follow-up, but what would be the ideal turn order? Tried making Xanadu faster than Razor Crest, is that right? Um, in an ideal world, yes, Xanadu blood goes faster than Razor Crest. But honestly, don't worry too much about it. I like my, my, my Razor Crest goes before my Xanadu blood. And yes, it can mess up some things. Not so much that you're just completely ruined as far as counters go for, for fleets. It's, it used to matter a heck of a lot in mirror matches, but we're past the point now where people mirror match. Um, also just got both Revens. What do you think you should do about that? Okay, so you got both of the Gen... you got Gen Knight Revan and you've got um, Darth Revan. So I don't know if you've got... Um, okay, yeah. So... What, yeah. I personally think that you might be a little bit Zeta broke to really engage with these. It's fine to have them. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely fine to have them. But to get Darth Revan and then to get Malak which would be the ultimate goal there. Um, you, you know, to get the team up and running, it's going to be Zetas, it's going to be Relic Investments, right? And it's a good team, but it's not 
currently a phenomenal team. And doing that before you get someone like Ray, I think is doing yourself a disservice. GLs are better than everything. Pretty much in the entire game, right? So whilst it might feel like, oh, I've, you know, I've, I just need to get a few more units and I can get a, a Darth Revan team up and running. In the same time for the investment that you could get Darth Revan and Malak up and running and get the Zetas on there, you could have Ray, And Ray will be 10 times more useful in general. Get you more things. And be more of value to your account, right? They're still useful to have. But I think until you start to settle down on your Zetas and stuff like that and actually get up the p pivotal teams, you can come back to Revan and... and and uh, other, other Revan and Malak. That's, that's my approach on it. You probably also want to bloat to 4 million GP as fast as possible. Yeah, well, I mean, he's going to get to 4 million GP very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. He's only 110k away. Um, I don't know, Adrian, if you've already beat Normal Conquest. Have you beat Normal Conquest? Um, it's a good question, Adrian, and I haven't actually run the numbers to, to know if it's of vital importance because it's, it's, it's an opportunity cost, right? You can get the, you can, you can get the assault battle teams and get yourself some additional income, get yourself some additional Zeta materials, get yourself some additional signal data and Cairo tech and stuff like this, like every month or so, or so. Is that worth delaying your farms? I'm not sure. I haven't run the figures. I'll be honest. What I would like to recommend is try to knock out the ones that you can that work in service of both. Like Imperial Troopers, I know that they're not a direct farm, but they are an offshoot of sort of getting Executor, for example. Can do, I believe they can beat two. They can beat Endor and they can beat is it the Rebel Roundup? Assault battles. So that is sort of like a consolidation of, hey, this works towards big farms like GLs, works towards having a good GAC team, but also gives me assault battle rewards. I wouldn't go overly focused on them. You just beat easy last conquest. So you've unlocked normal. So you don't need to worry about trying to bloat to 4 million before this round of conquest, but you need to make sure that in the next month or so, you break 4 million and make sure you at least complete normal. You don't have to red box or anything like that, but try to complete this next conquest on normal. Yeah. So no, generally speaking, I don't think you should go out of your way to try and get assault battle teams if it means delaying your current farms. All right, I'll, I'm going to uh, jump over to your friend's account then. Could you tell me a little bit about the friend's account? It's, you, ju you just said you want a little bit of uh, direction, right? You say he's been playing for years. Excuse me. He's been playing for years, but he's only got 600k more than you. He must have been either not wailing on lightspeed bundles or he's been playing very casually for years. Getting to 4 million by the end of Conquest... To unlock Proving Grounds is wise, but also to unlock hard mode and get better rewards in general. Hey, John, it's going well. Thank you, buddy. Oh, wow. Check this guy out. OK, so he's already he I, it looks like he's just slightly ahead of where you are, right? Because he's got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He's just unlocked Ray. I imagine that this is Lightspeed Bundle action as well. He's got an Admiral Pierre. Is he pushing for exec right now? And if so, good for him. It like I can't imagine he'd be pushing an R5 Piet unless he's starting to go for executor. So I do think that, you know, look, you've got two GLs. What's going to make the biggest difference to your account now is not get a third GL. It's get a good capital ship. Because currently in his roster, he doesn't have anything like Leviathan. He doesn't have profundity. He doesn't have executor. That's the biggest weakness in his account. And it's going to be the place that gives him the most rewards. I know that you are at the top of your fleet shard, but he's 117th. He's so far from getting any crystals from fleet that it makes me cry. He is. Good. Well, tell him he's a clever sausage. He's a very clever sausage and he's doing the right thing. He's played on and off at the game. Hard. Uh, played the game hard, then hit 85 and Hyperdrive game came out. He was upset and stopped playing. Okay, so basically 
He stopped playing for a number of years, and he's come back to the game. I hope that his fleet shard is kind of dead, so that when he gets executor, he's able to climb up just a little bit. Um, you know, it, it can be awkward. It can be awkward to try and bounce back from these sorts of things, but if he's willing to, you know, try and push through, then good for him. Good for him. It's not like it's impossible to climb back up. It'll just take some time, all right? So he needs to finish off his ray, get the ray up into relic levels because they're a GL and GLs deserve no less. Let's check out his resistance real quick. He's got some investment in Zori, which is nice to see. She also does need to go to relics though. So get his Zori up to like relic three at a very bare minimum. I prefer someone like a relic five to give yourself just a little bit of extra wiggle room. Um, and Ray obviously needs to go to a minimum of R7. All GLs have to be at least R7. It's good to see that Supreme Leader Carlo Ren is already up and running. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it's the same sort of light speed bundle purchases that have been made. Nothing wrong with that. They are very, very good and valuable. I can see he's working on Sidious as well. So he might be thinking of pushing for C at the moment, which is really not a bad, bad idea. Because, you know, I, I can't see why you would have a Relic Sidious unless he just saw the Datacron and he was like, yeah, got to get that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And it's actually fine because Sidious is a requirement for C anyway. But if he is thinking about doing that, I would highly recommend that he keeps his focus on getting Executor first, then get C. He's on the ultimate for Ray. You just got it today. Nice. God, he's brave. He's brave. The higher tiers of that ultimate, you really want to make sure that you've got relic levels on your Ray because it's failable. It's not like the new GLs. The new GL ultimate tiers are actually very easy. The originals, Slacker and Ray, are actually very hard. Um, so, San Rafael. Hola, amigo. Y hasta luego. Hasta pronto. Hasta mañana. Por qué, Rafael? Por qué? Es más tarde para ti. Um, so yeah, I don't mind the Sidious. If he really is just pushing for the Sidious, he'd have to take him to R five if he's got the Datacron and stuff like that. Muchas gracias, en NFL. Slack was uh, your first, and I thought JML and JMK were a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so he doesn't even have the Sidious Cron, so there's no reason. Hey, Halsey, how are you doing today? There's no reason for him to push for that Sidious unless he's thinking of going for C. And I think it is good. He's getting Executor. Executor and Slacker together get most of the... Well, not most of the requirements. Get a lot of the requirements that you need for C. So he could do that. And if he is concerned about assault battles like yourself, then he can also build out an Imperial Trooper team from that. Because these two will be Relic 3, for example. This will be Relic 8. And all he really needs to do is get his Dark Trooper up and get your Range Trooper up, wherever that is. There yeah, he's down there. Mr. Worldwide, is that a joke about the shape of my head? How's it going, Samu? See, si, I go my home after work. Ah, claro, claro, San Rafael. Well, drive safely, if you are driving. Travel safely back home. Hey, Josh, the Nosh. How you doing, bro? So yeah, that's, that's a pretty good path for him. You know, finish up your Ray, his Ray. Get him to finish up Ray. Get Zori as an easy one-team lifter to help out with OG Finn. Yeah. Then finish up Executor. Push down into C. After you've got C done, get Imperial Troopers done. You've got a little bit of assault battle action there. You've got a G uh, three GLs, one GL capital ship. You'll be pucker. I've tried the Ray events tier six for the ult mats nine times, eight of which were using god mods. I failed my first attempt, which prompted me to remod, and I failed once since due to crazy bad RNG where Slack was smart enough to wait until you could one-shot your characters past the eye. Ouch, Phil. Ouch, bro. Mr. Worldwide, because of a language is in your sleeve. <laughs> hey, no worries, Drew too, Drew. Are you okay, dude? How you doing, buddy? All in on Finn. All in on Finn. Yeah, so I'm not sure if he's got the Zetas for um, the Resistance team with Zori. I'm just going to check that real quick. That's a coincidence. That's a coincidence. What a coinky dink. Resistance. Yes, the Resistance. Uh, okay, no Zeta on the Finn lead. He will need that to go with the Zori. And you'll obviously want the Omicron on Zori Bliss as well to get the most use out of it. You can only speak three languages. 
and me, and me. I can only, like, you know, I can speak English and Welsh pretty fluently. Um, I can have conversational Spanish. And that's kind of it, really. It's kind of it. Seven out of nine on the Ray Farm. All other GL alt tiers I never felt. Yeah, Phil, for real. Like, Ray and Slacker are, are the harder ones. Ray is probably the hardest. I like that he's got a rebel team here. But my 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 words of wisdom would be regarding the rebel team. I love the rebels, right? But the problem with them and with accounts that are going light speed bundle like this is that they require a lot of Zetas to really get that synergy rolling. Like we're talking CLS has got three, Han's got one, Chewie's got two, Chupio's got one, C3PO's got... You know what I mean? It's like that's a lot of Zetas to get one decent team off the ground. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend pushing into it too heavily right now. You can do English, Chinese, and Korean. That's good. El Español describe es bueno, se entiende. Mucha gracia. Hmm. So, yeah. I think Lightspeed Bundles do a lot for players, but it does stress the importance then of managing the account very well. Because you do have a whole host of stuff and not really the economy to support it. English and Norwegian. That's cool. I like how he's got the BB-8 roll with the punches, Zeta. JTR, BB-8, is actually a really good team. Vin, uh, I can't remember, buddy. We will check in a moment. We will check in a moment. All right. So, yeah, I think I think his path forward is clear. Finish off Ray, get Zori, get Executive, push to C, do Imperial Troopers, and then work from there. My preference would be Jabba, because Jabba gives the most for your account. But that's already still like at least six months worth of farming for him. It's a good place to be. You guys are about the same GP. You're in the same guild. You're going to have fun together. I like it. Okay, I'm going to go grab a drink, and we'll be back in a moment. One question about me, what should I be using your energy for? Because I'm about to finish farming Inquisitors. Team, I know I can't really do much with them at the moment, but they can be farmed up. You need like 5,000 Kairos. Um, yeah, sure, Adrian. So, <clears throat> normal energy and your... So, Cantina energy. I'll just go through. Cantina energy, you should almost exclusively just be farming Chirotech that you need... Chirotech? Signal data that you need in order to relic your characters. The only time you shouldn't do that is when there is a specific Cantina character that you need to farm. Just get them out of the way, do them, finish them. But only if you need that character right now. There's nothing wrong with farming shards for teams that you need eventually, okay? But the sacrifice there is you could be using that normal energy to farm things that are useful to you. The only regular energy nodes that I would really recommend farming is going to be the Chirotech nodes for the most part. So in light side, I think it's 7B. This is one of the best nodes in the game to farm because this is one of the most used pieces of gear in the entire game. Going forward, everybody needs at least a little bit of this to get to relic levels. But every new character that comes out typically needs about three, four hundred. Unless they're a big unit, then they might need seven hundred or so. 
But not only that, it also gives you these level five Fabritech data pads. And these are used for bronzium wiring, which is another thing that you need in order to relic characters. So if you have nothing to shard farm at that time, that's pertinent to what you are working on right now, I would put your energy into farming this Chirotech. If you need the other type of Chirotech, the computer, that is a dark side node. Now, this will also feed into if you are currently farming tickets for a GL. Yeah. So if you're farming a dark side GL, you've unlocked it, you need tickets, then you'd farm the dark side node. This one over here, for example, gives you the Chirotech battle computer. Farm the crap out of this. If you need dark side tokens, it will help you get those tokens to do the GL event. It'll also give you a bunch of Chirotech that you can invest in characters for the future. Okay, now the only time that you might need to do something separate for that is, like I said, if you need to shard, uh, far, farm shards for a particular character or for a particular ship, then you do need to prioritize that a little bit. Now, one thing that will help speed up those farms is refreshing that node. If you have only limited crystal income, I'd recommend you only do it at maximum of once. Cost 25 crystals to refresh that node so you can do an extra five sims every day. That will essentially cut your farm time in half for a very small cost. The only other one, like I said, apart from these Chirotech nodes, is in early days if you are very, very much struggling to get yourself um, Carbonite Circuit Boards, which is the very first material for relics. You can farm either 1D or 1C. These units here are the most cost efficient units. These items here are the most cost efficient pieces of gear to break down to get carbonite circuit boards. OK, so if you have a hard time getting them, farming these two nodes, either of them, they're both as efficient as each other. They give you the same total amount um, is the best way to get that done outside of spending crystals on the, um, the packs that come around once a month. Hey, what's going on, Rabbit Beaver? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys doing today? So I've definitely messed up that one. I did the JMK ones, then Arc Trooper Inquisitors, and I'm working on Han with the Hood in Cantina. Uh, that's Captain Han. Yep. In the Cantina. Dang, definitely messed that one up. No, it's quite all right, Adrian. It's quite all right. There's nothing wrong with it. You would you, like eventually you need all those characters. They're all necessary. It's just you can choose strategically when to farm those characters when it best suits you. OK, because sacrificing things like Relic or Signal Data or Chirotech in the for the short term or in, in the long term basically just slows down your farms. It's quite all right. If so, say, for example, you are working on getting Ray. If you don't need any character shards, which you shouldn't at this point, all you need is maybe you need Chirotech, maybe you need Relic levels. Focus on that until you've got that done. Finish off that farm quickly and then look at what you need next. Have a look at all the characters that are required on your next farm. Have you got all the shards? Yes or no? If you don't, get those shards done. If you do, work on getting the gear and the relic data. Yeah. Take that sort of approach. How you doing, guys, from Rabbit? Did you have a good time? Drinking some whiskey. Rabbit. Rabbit, mate. How many of the bronzium wiring and carp circuit board packs do you buy a month? Honestly, mate, if I have the crystals to spare, I'll buy all of them. All of them I can, as many as I can, because it is so useful. I didn't, I haven't done it recently because we've been having, um, I've been having, we've been having marquees and I've been saving all of these crystals to get those marquees done. Or I've been, you know, buying them as well, <laughs> but I've been um, dropping money. I, I like, I don't, I don't wail, I don't wail for stuff like that because I'd rather try and farm it organically. But honestly, if I can drop 5,000 crystals to get a boatload of carbonite circuit board and bronzium wirings, I will. Because they are so good. Such good value. Because I hate farming for that crap. Yeah, Stefan. Yeah, definitely, dude. We'll have we'll have Jar Jar day one. I'll be doing I'll be doing the Jar Jar event unlock unlock live day one. So make sure you swing around the stream and come enjoy it. And of course, I will have a video guide out on how to unlock Jar Jar. It might be a difficult event. Might be really easy. Who knows? No, I refuse. Fine, Night Fox, you are not invited just because you only want to see the Jar Jar event when you do it for yourself.
when you when will I speak on that stream? Uh, we we don't know when it's going live. We don't like we've like as soon as we know the date, I will I will be going live as soon as we can. Jar Jar cosplay for the unlock. That would be interesting. <laughs> Anything has to be better than the Grand Inquisitor event. Honestly, honestly, the Afro event kind of sucked. Far, uh, farm Mark V data pads with bronzium wiring. Um, you can, you can. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It's, it's pretty good. It's like, I can't remember which one it is. I prefer to farm this one. It gets you the Mark II Fabritech, but this is more important. The fusion furnaces, so valuable here. So you can kind of double up a little bit. I like to farm 2e. No worries, Adrian. No worries. But yeah, definitely try to just prioritize your farms. Focus on one thing, get it done, move to the next thing. Make sure you know where you're going all the time. And feel free, Adrian, feel free to check in and say, hey, look, we've done this, we've done that. Or this came to mind, that came to mind. What do you think? Do you think Dofra Afra is still worth it? Yeah, she's good. She's good. She's good. I just don't think she's a priority farm. That's all. Mando needs two Zetas on him. Uh, which Mando drafts? Chromium transistors. Chromium transistors are easy. Samu. The first one. Um, let, let me check. I'll, let's just do this for chromium transistors. So chromium transistors. This is a super, super easy piece of gear to max out. Okay. You see this item here? This Mark 7 Blast Tech Weapons mod, you can find this in, I believe it's the Guild Event Store. Not Guild Event Store, Guild Store. Yeah. Look how many this translates into. 230 for just 69. Click the little Find button here. So it looks like it's not in the store currently, but I'll show you where it appears. If you go over into your shipments and we go down to Guild Activity, in this node right here, this one right here, you can buy 10 of them for like 100 or 150 tokens. Every single time you see that in the store, buy it. And you will never have to worry about chromium transistors ever again. Okay? So just buy that. In, like, ingrain it into your brain to check for this, check the store every single day for this here. Mark 7 Blast Tech Weapons Mod. Buy it all the time. It gives you crap loads. Crap loads. If you can't, this bore armor mod is also a very, very good piece of gear. That is pretty cheap. Craft it. Click the craft button. And you can craft it from stuff that you've got loads of. So, you know, you just craft a couple more. This isn't as efficient, but they transfer they transfer over at the same rate. It's just it's a little bit harder to max out on. But they still give you crap loads. See what I mean? You've got that piece like two times. I It comes and goes in waves for me, dude. Yeah, Samu. Make sure you look for it every single store refresh. I do every single time. Um, So, Bounty Hunter Zeta. I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> let, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Mando. Oh, my God. I didn't think that one through. So, I've only got the one on him. And it's not his leadership because you never use his leader. Yeah, don't bother with his leadership. That's such a crap Zeta. <laughs> like nobody ever uses his leadership anyway. So not his leader, whatever it happens to be. I, d I don't know what thing it's on. It's probably on this unique, is it? Each time Mando scores a critical hit, other bounty hunters allies gain half the amount of bonus turn. That's actually really good. That's really good. Grand Admiral Scribe. Decepticons, how you doing? Oh, sorry. Depak Control. I can't believe the crafted hollow disc gives you more erodium heat sinks than scrapping the salvage. I know, right? It's it's a really good one, Angtha. So similarly, we'll do this before we start. Erodium heat sinks over here. This is the most valuable piece. The Mark III Sienna hollow projectors. You craft these by using 20 of these Mark III holotech pieces. But if you look in here and you, if you look, so if I go 10, if I put 20 down, we get two erodium heat sinks, right? But you can spend 20 of these to make one of these. And look at the difference. 
Look at, look at the difference. 5. Two and a half times more valuable for the exact same piece of gear. So if you ever need a rhodium heat sinks, you get these. You get Mark III Sienna Hollow projectors, okay? You can get them with the new guild currency. I think it's get one, so you get crap loads of them. And you can just craft it and 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 craft it. And then you just go lap and you get loads of them. Hey, Ardahan, we're doing good, buddy. How you doing? Hard into this game. He wants to make videos at some point and just like making nerdy sheets on different things. I've made a cheat sheet of mods and all the journey guide minimum requirements to give things that I have fun. Yeah, why not, Adrian? Why not? That's how I started off. Sexy Rexy in the chat. How you doing? Once more for the folks in the back. I think I missed something. Did you say crafted and crafted? I said crafted and 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 crafted about 18 times. No, we haven't even started, Faustus. I haven't even I haven't even looked at my opponent. Oh, let's go and check him out, shall we? Let's see what's waiting for us in the old world of GAC 3v3. We're up against Bor. Bor. It's different to Bar. Bar. Bor. Better. Alrighty, what have we got here? Oh, oh, look at all these GLs and Bellerin Keck. Alright, so in the north wall. Feel that anticipation. Look at this Lord Vader team. I'm pretty certain that just still gets manboed. I, I don't think it really matters if you throw in Malakos. But hey ho, each to their own. Each to their own. Currently sitting at 7665 Mark 3. That's a lot contingent. <laughs> How you doing, brother? You all right? Good to see you, man. Uh, then we've got a very easily beatable Malgus team. We've got a Qui-Gon Jinn team down here. We've got a Rex Rex Fives. We've got a Bellerin Keck. It's a good Keller and Beck team as well. Yeah, all's good over here, contingent, brother. All's good over here. Let's have a look what's on the south wall. We'll obviously try and clear south first. Seeing more GLs. Ooh, he's gone big boy defense, hasn't he? He's got Jabba and Leia. And he's got Ray. And he's got CLS. And he's got DTMG, the proper DTMG team. All right. Well, we're going to clear south first. Nate, that, that Keller and Beck team is nasty, dude. You can complete... You can't complete Shadows, Secrets and Shadows with R3 Phoenix. I wouldn't try, mate. I, I don't beat it with my R9 Phoenix, so... <laughs> with remodding for amazing mods. Okay, so, game plan. Bane the layer. Jabber. JMK, I guess. DTMG. We will Sith Empire, CLS, Bad Batch, I guess, JTR, uh, JTR, well, JTR is there. Ray will throw rocks. You think he didn't change from last round? Probably not. Even with Rex, doesn't work yet. Yeah, the, you, like, you can basically auto the entirety of Challenge Tier 2, and then you just get annihilated by Nihilus. Nihilus just goes, takes a bonus turn at the start, no cooldowns, annihilates a unit, takes, like, two more turns, annihilates a unit, takes two more It's, like, nuts. He's so fast. All right. Let's get this party started in here. Let's get the party started. I'm going to start off with a little bit of Sith Empire action, I think. Sith Empire action going up against Dark Trooper Moff Gidders. Oh, oh. Let's try it out. You can pull off two, uh, two stars in Challenge Tier 2. I've tried it so many times. And no matter what I did, I'd always just lose all my units. Every time. And I've got good Phoenix and good mods. So maybe I'm just playing it completely wrong. But 
I tried it like four or five times and it takes like 20 minutes an attempt. And I was just like, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm okay to use this one. Let's go. Yeah, like my, my Phoenix are like all R9. Apart from Sabine, who's R5. Not good enough. Well, harder. All right. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Fear the whole team. Uh, I'm going to keep that fear. We're just going to do a basic here. We're going to yeet. Beautiful. What do you get? What you, what you, what you want? Let's get the shock out. Beautiful. Let's get some fear out. Beautiful. Let's get some other types of shock out. We, we dropped a stack there. That's huge. That stack is huge to drop. Here's the AoE. Basic once. I should be basicing over here, really. Let's zap him. Punch, punch. Go over here. One tap. Let's get the... Yeah, let's get the mass sphere. I don't want to trigger that Dark Trooper right now. Big yeet. Beautiful. One more should do the trick. I don't mind doing this. Fear over there. I don't want that Dark Trooper really doing anything ever, but now he's only on two stacks, so I'm quite all right. He's not going to kill anybody when he's on two stacks. And he missed. Ha! <laughs> Are you blind? The answer is yes. Yes, he's blind. All right, we're about to get done with Moff Gidders over here. Bring on the Gideon. A little bit disappointing. Not as disappointing as that was for him, though. Yay! Get out of there, Scout. All right, good. Pretty successful start, I'd say. Gideon over there trying to snipe some banners from me. Shock him. Yeah, I might as well do it here. We might not get another round. We might not get so lucky ever again. Come on. Finish him off. Yeet. Good business. Full banners. That's a good start, guys. It's a good start. 67. Night, Fox. Bang yourself. <laughs> I'll show myself out. Let's see what that punch bot will do to the team this time. Nothing. Nothing at all. Is it okay with Darth Sidious with the data crumb? Stelios, it's got about a 50% win rate. Um, I don't trust... Uh, like, I set a relatively weak defense, so I don't like to risk 20 banners on maybe earning a couple more banners. Do you know what I mean? It's like, to me, the, the reward is not worth the risk there. What do I use against Ray with Raycron with JTR and BB-8? Probably the same thing I'd use against every variant of Ray, which is um, Seer, Starkiller, Malakos. How are you so good at GAC? I'm not, Faustus. I'm not. All right. So I'm not sure what we're going to use against that. I think we said maybe Bad Batch, was it? Let's, um, let's go ahead and take a look on Swigger Insights, because I'm not entirely sold, guys. I'm not entirely sold, Tribe. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've actually faced off against CLS in threes. What has he got? Probably the bonus protection, right? Bonus protection. He's got some deflections. The stats are not so great. So let's have a look. Here we are. Iden's on defense. We do have Dash and Chewy, but even a 76% for me is not a great thing. Bad Batch is only 65. I'm not going to use Bad Batch. That seems sketch. That seems super sketch. 86% with Adrad, though. Maybe it's Adrad we use. Obviously, we could use... I mean, we could use Savage solo, couldn't we? It's not great win rates. It's not great win rates, but we could probably get it done. Let's see. 787. Mm, no, I'm not going to try that. 
I'm not going to try that. I'm not going to try a Savage solo it. Can Sidious Datacron beat Zori? Yes, Colin. I don't know what the odds are, but it definitely can happen. Your blue stacks just crashed on a jabber battle. Now you have nothing left. Oh, Dominic, mate, I'm sorry, bro. Do you think Count Dooku will get a ship? Maybe one day. If any time, it might be now. Did you say... What did you say? Exactly, Alex. Exactly. Dash Hand Chewie is pretty decent, but by the looks of things, Adrad is better. Like, Dash Hand Chewie's got 76% win ratio. It's got decent enough banners, but Adrad has got 80... Like, that's a 10% increase in win ratio. I don't want to use anything super, super high level. Because I want to be able to save some power for the back wall. And for up north, obviously. So I think we might try Adrad. I think we might try Adrad, because it's pretty good win rate. Let's just take a look at the battles here. 888, bonus protection, lots of crit damage. Came away with good stuff here. Yeah, it's only got about a 50% win rate, Warus, so I don't want to risk it. I really do hope it is, Angthar. I really do hope it is. It could be old Datacrons with the address involved. It shouldn't be. This is based on the sh only the latest season, only latest season information. So over here, we're looking at the same sort of setup. So I've still got the Jin Cron. Uh, Rogue One. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So here we are. What have we got? Deflection. We've got some resistance. They don't. I think they all do physical damage. CLS is physical. Can't remember Chupia. Whenever we gain a buff, we've got some recovery. It's probably this one with the extra crit damage, resistance, tenacity. That's probably better. So let's equip this one. Ooh, I think this is a relatively safe team to use. Let's go for it, guys. Let's do it. Fingers crossed. All right. We kind of want to go all in on 3PO and Chewie at the start. I want to try and get rid of him as soon as possible. The buff immunity is kind of useful there. Oh, nice. Oh, I was blind, of course. Let's get rid of those debuffs. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, please do keep attacking Jin. That would be amazing. Let's see if we can strip. Oh, yes. And the stun. Pass it over. Paso doble. Basic. It's looking good. Can you stop attacking Adred? Yeah, you can attack him. I don't really mind that so much. Just a basic over here. Just a basic. Stop attacking Adred. St can you stop attacking Adred, please? Okay, here we go. Hope. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Stop taking turns. Stop it. Chewy, you big furry. Such and such. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Chewy was just like, and shoot you, and shoot you, and shoot you, and shoot you. I was like, stop it. You walking carpet. You big furry jackass. You should see what it said last gag history. Yeah, probably. AI will probably focus Jin at least. I wish they would. Hey, Ryan, how you doing, buddy? Be gone, inferior rebels. I am the superior rebel. All right. I think we start off with a bit of JMK ac cat action. Bit of JMK cat. Galactic Republic is where it's at with JMK and with cat. Applicable bonuses. We've got this, but 
it's highly unlikely that we get the no revive on Santi. Heavy defense, relatively heavy. He's got about four GLs on defense. Relatively heavy is what I would call it. This is still kind of sketch. We're going to go for a quick ult and we're going to try and get rid of Bausch. That's the game plan so far. <laughs> Indeed, Rob. So we're just trying to see what's on the back wall right now. So all I'm interested on is what's on that back wall. Let's start ramping the damage on this. Ooh, look at you. Just gonna pass it over there. Do-da, do-da. Everybody sing the song. Hold the dude our day. And we'll just reset those turns. And we're gonna have just a little bit of fun. Ult. Could you cut that kindly? Thank you. And now it's all in. We just need a bit of time now. Ramp up as much damage as we can. And hope that Jabba doesn't get the opportunity to eat our JMK. Our cat, rather. If it's worth it, let me work it. JMK is officially blind. Let's cleanse that. Wonderful. Wunderbar. All right. Raise the damage. Let's uh, keep on getting that armor shred over there on Santi. DI over here. Keep it up. Flip it on back and reverse it. Come on. Come on. Let's just call her in. Get another yeet. Need to go into ult. Oh, that's not. There we go. Oh. Silly thick Santis, man. Silly thick Santis. God damn, is that boy thick. Need to constantly be passing mastery over to Cat whenever possible. Oh, JMK got the kill. That Santi ain't coming back. <laughs> no revives for you, good sir. If we can kill um, Jabba before he ults, that would be incredible. I don't think we'll be that lucky, though. That was huge to get that Santi. Come on. Come on, baby. Let me get him before he ults. Oh, <laughs> Get wrecked, Jabba. Get wrecked, Jabba. That's the way. Mace is definitely better than GK there, Luminous. I'm just, just saving Mace to deal with the Malgus up north. <clears throat> you always give Shen Sh to GMK. What's the benefit of giving it to GK? It was just timing out the turn meter more than anything. So that I would have like Alt and Cat's turn straight after. Also, generally speaking, once everybody's assisting, you're ramping more damage on the leap eventually. I don't think it quite worked out, but hey. Just checked and saw that my opponent placed a team of Malgus, Darth Revan, and Starkiller. That's pointless. Uh, yeah, so Mace is definitely better than GK in that lineup. Any tips for the Holdo Datacron Ray team? Yes. Use Seer, Malico, Starkiller. How's the get going? Pretty good, Howard. So far. Alex, rather. JMK already had Shen. Better pass the to GK, so they both have it. Good luck. That's what I thought. Rust abuse. Have I looked into Mace's level 9 as trash, Luminous? Does JMK always beat a Jabba team? No, Justin. It does not always beat Jabba. Um, the, the worst thing that can happen against Jabba is that Jabba gets to ultimate and eats cat. Particularly in 3v3s, that kind of kills it. It's essentially Steadfast Retribution, but trash. Yeah.
It because it only reflects twenty percent damage. Throw rocks, drop ships, and profit. Pretty much, that's what we're going to do now. Um, yeah. You know we love this team. You know we love this team. So I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep using it. We go Seer. We go Starkiller. We go Malakos. The good old tried and tested 7 Omicron team. I just go for a lot of crit damage. Don't mind that the rocks do more damage. Yeah. What... What do you think hurts more? Having a Star Destroyer fall on your head or a couple of rocks? Tried and testicles. Yeah. So he's got stacking offense, crit avoidance, which does kind of suck, to be honest. And then he's got the revive. Bit of offense, loads of health, no health steal. So it should be okay. Let's do this. Let's drop some rocks and raise head. Come on, baby. Oh, I see. Let's just strip all that off. Alrighty. Throw some rocks. That's the first round. Oop. And again. Aww. Screw this. Let's just get him into DI. Uh, yeah, sure. Whoop. Ha. <laughs> Double bubble, baby. Double bubble, baby. That Ray is just getting absolutely rickrolled, isn't she? That Ray is... She, she's over, son. I'm sorry, Ray, but I think we have the high ground. Oh, that's poor timing, though. That's a little bit of poor timing. Oh, I was really hoping we could kill her. Malakos, take a turn. Oh, well, that'll do. That'll do. We should be fine from here. Let's uh, see if we can get rid of inspiration. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, let's be honest, it doesn't matter. I was really hoping that Malakos was going to take a turn there and um, and get his rocks off, if you know what I mean. Get your rocks off, honey. Check him out now. Boop. <sighs> Unfortunately, it looks like we will not get... Ooh, did I lie? I lied, guys. We do get to drop down. This never happens. Isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? She's got damage immunity. I'm drawing it down anyway because I want the recovery, baby. Let's pull down a Star Destroyer. What does more damage? Rocks or Star Destroyer? Star Destroyers are trash. They do no damage. Why do we even try? Can this miss? Yes, it can. Whoop. 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 She gone. 57, baby. Rocks probably hurt more because they because I'd probably survive to remember the pain. <laughs> Personally, I've never had the experience of having a Star Destroyer dropped on top of me, but I have had pebbles thrown at me, so I know rocks hurt more. That's a very sound argument. Did you see that Gungans might be weak to troopers? The one that uh, one that lost was because of all the crit damage they had. Oh yeah, he's a scammer. Who's a scammer? F five twelve. Sia's last special can't be missed. I think. Oh okay. Well, hey, we were fine. We got the max banners. With going J JMK Jabba, did you earmark Slacker for another team? Uh, Slacker, I tend to use for a solo for good banners of Captain. How you doing, by the way? Malakos assisting on that. I know, right? <laughs> Rocks coming from the debris of the Fallen Star Destroyer is the best combo. Oxlane, speak for yourself. My Relic 9 Chopper does damage. All right. He doesn't really. He does in Conquest, though. You know who we're whipping out here. The one and only Cad... B no, not Cad Bane. Darth Bane. Yes. Yes. And we're going to throw in just a little bit of that Morulus. Get the Bane Cron running. <laughs> Indeed, Roy. Indeed. What are we looking at? We've got the bonus protection. They've got some stuff and things. Doesn't matter. He does do damage. Cad Bane, Darth Bane, same, same. Exactly. Different, but same, same. 
This Darth Bane is part owl. I have it on good authority. Let's roll it. All right, we can't increase their cooldown, so I'm going to increase my mastery. Well, my siphon. Oh no, not my Sith Trooper. Hey, no, 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 you stay away from Bane. Okay, that's fine. Now I'll do it. Zabbity zabbity. Hey, behave. Daze them? Not quite. Oh no, my mole. My mole's gonna yeet. Not if we cleanse first. He, he, he got yeeted, guys. It's game over. It's game over. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do except this! <laughs> I love Bane so much, man. Will you calm down, Drogon? Who told Drogon he could be that rude? Drogon? Calm down, mate. Let me just... You know, do stuff and things. Yeah, we'll still do this. Basic. Oh, that was good timing. Let's see what happens. She's about to ult. Hopefully she, ah, uh, she's going to kill him. Oh, there's no revives. Oh, she, she didn't. It's always a little bit sketch when she gets that ult off. A little bit. This uh, layer is chunky, but it's not going to matter. Because when you've got this much mastery and siphon and stuff, you do just kind of wreck face. Let's zap it, I guess. Keep on ramping. Keep on slapping. I love Bane so much. I love him so much. He's such a nice person. All right. What are we thinking, guys? How many GLs on the back wall? Press buttons to kill she hells. That's exactly right. Two GLs, seven. Chris, <laughs> Chris can't count. Two, three, one, one, two, zero. Let's see. Let's see it. How many we got? I think none. I think none. No GLs, but there is a seer. All right, so we've got Sorty. We've got Saw. What did we use against this recently? We fought that last round. We used something that was really good against it. Cad Bane does go crazy. We used something against this that was really good. I presume you don't understand my question or it, right? Sorry, uh, drafts. I'm I'm not sure, dude. I might have missed it when I was playing. Can't Sidious solo it? Well, with Cal there, he passes a heck of a lot of foresight. Like, Sidious could potentially solo that. We'll come back to the back wall. Yeah, the Chirrutcron is always fun. I'll probably JML it or something. I think we start off with a bit of Mandalorian action over here. I mean, let me double check, but I don't think I don't I don't I don't think that um, Malakos changes Lord Vader being soloed by um, by Bo. Where's Malakos? I no, well, see there aren't even that many instances of it. Yeah, Bo still got a hundred percent win rate. Oh, some people have failed. I don't, I genuinely, I don't know how you fail this battle. Oh, uh, well, this one did have full R9s. But still. Yeah, we just bow it. Your opponent went super light on defense, and I was able to solo most of their defense, but couldn't be their levy. Oof. Uh, 
What moment you know you are ready to farm main ship executioner and other ships five to six style? Look power or something else? Executioner? Do you mean the the executor? Um, there isn't really a thing to know when you should. If you don't have it, the earlier you get it, the better off it will be. The better off you will be. Farm it quickly. Your opponent went super light on defense. Oh, sorry, I read that one. Uh, they have any plans for your ray with seer bros placed on defense? I mean, you, they might just bane it. They both start under stealth, which is interesting. Ah. I think most of the failures are from having a slower Grogu than Bo. Maybe. Hey, peace out, Kaicho. Good night, dude. Not when to do it or not why. Not when to do it. There's no real reason not to go for Executor. Executor is a fantastic ship. Right. So we need to at least have IG-12 and Grogu here. How fast is the team? It's probably quite fast. Yeah, 326. So how's it going to start? I'm going to have a bonus turn with Bo. They're both going to be stealthed. Yeah, no, I understand that, Wolf. Yeah. I'm pretty certain my Grogu is way faster than my Bo, so... 329... 269, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just... Like, Maul's definitely going to take one turn, isn't he? And then it should be fine. It should be us. So I think we should be fine. It's just whether or not we get... If our bow outpaces... The... Either the second turn of Lord Vader... What I'm worried about is the five stacks from Maul, right? I think I might take in Paz just in case. I think I'll take in Paz just in case for safety. I'll take in Paz for safety. Just because of the Maul and the attacks. Let's do it. Yeah... They they've got stealth, but it's it's only going to be for one turn because I'll I'll dispel the stealth, I'll dispel it. Mhm. Mm so here we go. We dispel the stealth. That's very useful. And then we'll just be like, I'll kill you, I'll kill you, and mass assist. I don't think it was worth me risking a low banner. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Big hits. Good. Yeah, we probably could have done that without Paz, but I didn't want to risk it, so I'll take the 56. All right. So over here, I know that we can... We can uh, Basti lead Jedi uh, Knight Cal that. We can slack a solo this. We can JML this. Why does Spo's head look so big in battle? It's um, to carry the weight of Mandalore. Basically. So. Just got to get some of this juicy action in. I think I might actually... Do I have a light side bonus protection? I do. Yeah. We'll go for this one. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you. Let's go. When we thought that this might go Vader's way. <laughs> Indeed. Sometimes. When in Rome. Alright. That's basic here. And I'm going to pass over to Mace all the time.
Come on then, let's be having you. Let's see if we can get the uh, stun. No. Oh, he can't be stunned, can he? Huge. Yeah, let's just do this. Pass that. Pass over to Mace. He's going to get feared. All right. That's looking good. We're looking good. There's no point doing that, so I'm just going to basic. Because he's about to die anyway. Just go whop and then see ya. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, stun him. Thank you. Let's call in Cal. Pass it over. Pass or doble. Stun him. No. Call him in. Please don't kill my mace. It will make me very upset. Oh, get wrecked, son. 55. Jedi Knight Calcestis Hibachi move never gets old. Um, you're still early game working your team to get R3 to R5, get first three team Phoenix Empire's Geo prior to building other... Th I think you should... Um, I think you should focus on your... Find out what your goal is first instead of thinking I want to Relic 5 this phoenix team or i want to relic five of this empire team you should think about where you want to go like do you want to get a legendary ship do you want to get a legendary unit work towards that rather than thinking in teams you know you love gak making matchmaking so much just sometimes something about not being able to clear a single team despite being bringing every team oh god that's awful kiru <laughs> all right okay so Let's have a look at this Keller and Beck. Let's have a look at this Keller and Beck. This Keller and Beck team is no joke. So I think I'm going to JML it. Oh, no, Reaver. Reaver's got real good win rates here. Because we could JML it, but Reaver's got a better win rate and better banners. I guess we Reaver it. Reaver it is. Hey, what's going on, Chuck? How you doing, dude? Feels like I haven't seen you in a while. Shara in the chat. Hey, 3087, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the tribe, good sir. Let's see. Have we got... Oh, we do have. We do have. Let's do some of this then. All right. This team is no joke, guys. Keller and Beck with his Datacron. All that extra offense, stacking offense. Look at that health steal, dude. It's a dangerous team. It's dangerous. Well, let's go. I've got some faith in our Reaver squad. Right then. I kind of just want to immediately get the torture on gas and just work him out. Like, he feels like the biggest threat. Let's get the armor shred on him. Let's pull back his turn meter. Beautiful. And yeah, let's do this. That damage output is just crazy, dude. Huge. Getting rid of gas like that was absolutely huge. The AoE damage, clearing him out. Can't top it, mate. Can't top it. He's cooked already. He's cooked already. Reaver. Reaver is incredible. <laughs> 56. Made that gas team look like an absolute joke. Shara, you don't have to chat. You know that, honey. We're always happy to have you here. Starting work in a couple of hours. Always nice to see you, Scribe. Good luck. Hey, thank you, Ryan. All the best, dude. No worries, drafts. Yeah, there's lots of ways you can go about things. Um, I personally think that uh, an early capital ship is always a good choice. 
Okay, so we still need to deal with Rex Rex fives, and we still need to deal with that um, Qui Gon army. So Rex Rex fives. What's the setup? Bonus protection, Cron. Makes sense. What have people been using? So we could use Qui Gon Jinn army. The thing is, we don't have Cam, so I don't really trust it. Do they have the army on their Rex? I assume they do. Yeah, they've got the army five seven seven. Yeah, I don't trust. I don't trust us to go in there with without Cam. Um. So that's off the table. Don't have this. 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 We could jam mallet. Don't have this. We do have Treya, but 54 is not endearing me. We do have C available. A C solo. That could be our shout. C solo, guys. C solo. Gungans. Get out of here, Foxy. What should you focus on first? Oh, Chewie, there is loads to go over. Loads to go over, my dude. Um, I would start on YouTube. Start, start looking at some beginner guides. The more recent ones, the better. I don't have anything recent for uh, newly starting stuff, but you're going to want to know how to use the journey guide, how to focus on legendary events, how to climb in fleet. Focusing on fleet early will get you a bunch of crystals. So, representing the meat bags, what's going on, Strobe? Um, I'm pretty certain. Can't we Wampa solo that? I need something for you. Yeah, I think I think we. C solo it. C solo the Rex Rex fives. Let's see what we have to do. What we have to deal with Saw. Saw Chur at Bays. Uh, ah, I mean, we could Trayer it. We could Jabber it. We still got Jabber, for God's sake. Yeah, we've got some options. You've been losing Lord Vader to solo Qui Gon Jin. Yeah, it's a good show. I, I'll probably be able to do some GL solos. We've got some options. So, yeah, I get a C solo this one. C solo the Rex Rex fives. We've got Sidious as well, guys. we still got Sidious, dude. Um, right, okay. Some health, some health steal. Yeah, I think this is fine. <laughs> Don't ask to underestimate them. Take C-Bane. Indeed. Indeed. All right. So I'm going to link. I'm going to link Le Rex and Rex. Because they're going to be the two fastest. And they're the ones I want to kill. So... Yeah, I think this makes sense to me. I think this makes sense. Yeah, I'll just keep basicing for now. I'll heal up now. Wondering if I no. Let's let's just let's just wrap it up. Let's just wrap it up. Sometimes you gotta wrap it. How did he not die? Wasn't he linked? I mean, I'll take it. But how did he not die? I'm so confused. Um. I'm so confused. It wasn't sacrifice. It wasn't sacrifice. And the... Because Fives survived. Five didn't yeet. It was... That was Captain Rex. Fives were still alive. Like... The sacrifice happened afterwards, yeah. But... It's supposed to instant kill. Fives should have gone down. Yeah. Like, that was really weird. There was probably some interaction that I'm not understanding there, but I mean, it does like it's not like it mattered. 
Linked enemies are supposed to be instantly killed, yeah. That's why I chose those two. That was kind of weird, right? I mean, it worked out. It worked out fine. But hey, huh? <laughs> Captain Rex isn't 501st. I know, yeah. Probably waited for fives to take a turn before he keeled over, which is strange in itself, right? So we'll probably use a solo here. Could... Who do we have? We've got um, Slacker. Slacker could solo that. So if we Slacker solo the Qui-Gon. Hey, Faithon, how are you doing? I'm pretty certain Wampa can deal with sorted GG Droidica. Can somebody double check that for me? So if we Wampa that, we can... Was it Treya this? We've Sidious that before. We still got Jabber as well. In fact, could we Jabber solo Qui Gon? I feel like we probably could. There have been people who have lost. Not many, granted. The insta-kill just straight up didn't work, and the death was actual sacrifice due to see counterattacking, not a delayed one. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. So I could do a Jabba solo theoretically. I think we go for a Jabba solo. Then we still have JML, and we still have Slacker, and we still have Wampa, and we still have Malak. So... Let's do it. Let's save the Sidious. And we've still got Sidious. That's madness. Yeah, we could do this. So, we're just going to go all in on Anakin at the start. Sure, let's throw this on him. Yep. Deflexione. And then, yeah, we'll basic, I guess. Blind him. And I'll basic him again. Keep him blind. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't hit what you can't see. I am the giant slug. Woe is me. All right. He resisted. Quit resisting, citizen. Stop resisting. <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> Very rude, Anakin. Anakin out here resisting all the time. Does that cleanse himself? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Mundi trying to put all that armor shreds on me. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw some more bombs on you, I guess. Ba -ba -dum -ba -boom. Ba -ba -dum -ba -boom. We finally landed one. Eventually, we will get a kill on Anakin. Thing is, I don't want Qui-Gon Jinn to die. That would be really bad. Yeah, let's keep doing this. I want to build up to the ult. Hey, Anakin's gone. That's good. Hmm. I want to try and recover. Let's just, let's just go full basic. Just full basic. Auto basic. I want to get to that ult. Give me that ult. Nom nom nom. Blind him? Blind him? Eat it. Got him. Easy money. We did it. We did it. Let's see what's on the uh, on the old fleet game. What a strange battle. What a peculiar battle. If I looked like Jabber, I wouldn't want people to be able to see me either, Kader. <laughs> 
Why wouldn't it be bad? Why would what be bad? Sorry. Uh, rule of two. What have we got? Oh, he's got big boy defense. That's cool. Killing Qui-Gon? I just don't want to give Anakin the bonus turn. It would have been fine, but I don't want to give Anakin the bonus turn and give him all the additional offense. Actually, I don't I don't even know if it does. I just don't want to give him a bonus turn. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. All right. Let's kill some ships. And now look at his R9 Sith fighter. What am I going to do? It's fine. It's fine. Let's do it. Exactly. Exactly. There's no reason not to. But we w we finished with 59 anyway. I was just being cautious. All right. So he's obviously going to get out the out the rip. And then I'm going to take the lead. Thank you. And I'm going to get that tenacity up. Thank you. And go on, get rid of it. Oh, nice. We got the shield disruption as well. That's huge. Huge getting that shield disruption. Get the heal immunity. Absolutely enormous. Yeah, let's get some banner recovery. Call in the scimitar. Scimitar is here. Let's hide everybody. Let's do for a big hit. Nice. See ya. He's in twabble. He's in twabble. <laughs> Victory is mine. All right. So we've got this. We've got it. Yeah, baby, we've got it. He's missing max health, so we're going to go ahead and hit Malgus for the extra TM. And then back over to the Sith fighter. Pew, 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 pew. Missed me. Um, I could reinforce here. I could. But we don't actually need to, so I'm not going to. I don't want to sacrifice additional banners. Get rid of the Sith fighter. We're basically home free. You can go away. Let's heal up. Basic. And he's about to lose control of his capital. Nailed it! Nailed it! Such an easy counter, baby. It's easy. Ooh, that's easy. Yep, let's get that heal immunity. Mass assist. I probably should have done the heal, actually. But never mind. Um... Basic. 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 I mean, might as well. Heal it up. It gets a little bit frustrating when all you have to deal with is this guy with a boatload of stacks. It's just like, come on, dude. Like, just would you die already, please? It's down to 16. Come on. 14. 12. 10. 8. 6. 4. 2. <laughs> You're so annoying. You're so annoying. Banner sniping me at the end there. We still got a 74. The only reason I can think of Rex survived is Captain Rex's unique restores 35% health when a clone ally when they fall below 50% healthy. And that doesn't make sense when he would have reached 0% health before. Well, he should have just died. He, it, like The health threshold shouldn't have kicked in at all. All right. We've got our favorite, favorite counter here, guys. It's triple attacker exec. I'm just going to get mad at this counter not working. 
That, that's basically all I'm going to do is just get mad at the fact that this counter won't work. Simple as that. Simple as that. Let's do it. Dodge, dodge, and zero assists, baby. The insta-kill from C should have got around it, but there must be some weird interaction that we're missing. Alright. All in on IG-88. Okay, we got an assist. Finish off IG-88 here. Thank you. Huge. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's get rid of some of that reinforced hull. Or all of it. Of course, he got the bonus attack. No bonus attack that time. That's actually really useful. Thank you. Oh, come on. We got some assists. Are you for real right now? Are we getting assists today? We get. Are we getting assists? Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, we are. Let's see. Is Xanadu blood going to go? He's not. So I'm actually going to wiggle. Get rid of you. Alrighty. Um, let's see. I mean, I could do that. I think I'll just do the heal. I think we'll just do the heal. Let's try and race to our ultimate now. Nice dodge. Nice full odds dodge, you jackass. Oh, I should have gone over here. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I might as well do it here. Kind of huge. Oof. Nearly got the, enough damage in there. And bye-bye, Capital. Bye-bye. Can we get rid of him? <laughs> bye, Houndstooth. Nice knowing you, honey. It was good knowing you, honey. All right, let's pass the turn over here. Basic. Come on, get rid of him. Oh, yeah, baby. Booyah. 75. When it works, it just works, you know? It just, just sometimes it just works. And then we can bounty hunter this one for fame and for glory. He's got a full reinforcement lineup. That ult is hilarious. Yes. It's like, follow me! Whee! <laughs> just like, ignore the battle that's going on right now. I want to chase that ship. All right, good stuff. All in on Anakin. That's that's lovely, Anakin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your consideration here. Yeah, goodbye, Anakin. G goodbye, buddy. Goodbye, Anakin. G goodbye. It's nice knowing you, Anakin. Oop, lap. Oh, no double tap. No double tap. Very rude. Let's go over here then. Do you want to eat that retribution? Why didn't I reinforce? Why, why didn't I reinforce, guys? <laughs> your boy scribble just a dumbass? The answer is yes. The answer will always be yes. Until such time as it is not true. Scribble who... Why'd you do dumb things? You know you could have reinforced. A Billy... Oh. Blow them all to hell. Blow them all to hell. Don't lose, don't lose, don't lose, don't lose. Woohoo! Aw, oh, son of a gun. Oh, you're still, still hanging in there. Still hanging in there, just about. Skin of our teeth. Can they stop taking turns now? Would that, would that be okay? If you guys just stopped taking turns, it's getting a little bit obnoxious now. Let's heal up. Like they took like fourteen hundred and twenty-three turns back to back. Then I didn't. I didn't remember agreeing to that. I don't think I. I said that they could do that. I swear it's illegal. Good night. See ya. 
Nabubi song when? As soon as we get a whole group of people in Nabubi t-shirts, then we can form our own Nabubi choir. That's when it'll happen. They have altered the deal. Without the Bananakin, they have no chance. You're absolutely correct. See if we can recover a couple more banners here. No. <laughs> 72. Alright, that's fleet done with. Good. Good business. Now we just need to clear the back wall. I don't think this is going to be a massive scoring game, but I think we'll get a decent score. Alright, so this sortie team, I'm pretty certain we can wumper this. It was Sorty GG Droidica. Wumper's got a 73% chance. Has he got the target lock? He does have target lock. Yeah, the target lock kind of screws it. Target lock kind of screws it. Yeah, so we're not going to Wumper that. What are we going to use? Bad Batch, we could use that. I'm interested in high banner wins right now. We don't actually have Basti, so we can't use that. Sidious Cron has got a pretty good win rate. Malgus, not so great. Treya, really good. I don't actually have Treya anymore. <laughs> Forgot about that. We've used Jabber. We've got Slacker. Slacker solo. We could so we could Slacker solo that, but we I think we JML the saw, right? Don't have this, don't have this, don't have this, don't have this. Uh I think we have to JML it. JML Okay, well, we we have this team. 94% win ratio. I think that's what we go for. Treya Omi gives Nihilus Annihilate. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Reno, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the tribe. So we're going to JML this. Just need to uh, take in a decent team for it. So we'll take in these two. And we'll just get a casual... A casual 83% cron. We're not like Karth. We don't have 105% bonus protection. So I guess, I guess we'll just have to settle for 83.4%. Um. Let's actually just start with this. That was brilliant. <laughs> it was just like, you know what? You know what? Let's just go ahead and yeet him out in first hit. That cooldown increase sucked. Meh. Boop. Stun him. Pass it. To, um, actually, him, him, him. Yeah, it's just... Yay! Ah, oh, come on. Yay! Baze. Do me a favor. Thank you. Jeez. Increase those cooldowns. There we go. 55. I'll take it. All right. So we've still got some tough teams. We've got the Fin Fin Zori. We've got Trench. So let's have a look here. Fin Fin Zori. What are we going to use against this? And it's got a Fin Cron. I imagine it's a perfect Cron as well. So it's going to have the health, this, and I'll have the stacking offense. <laughs> Sidious has got a pretty decent win rate. Slacker Solo has got a pretty decent win rate too. We could Slacker Solo that. It's only Relic 5s. Cleaning up. Cleaning up house, hopefully. 
Yeah, they've got the AoE one. I think I think I'll go for a slacker solo on this. Slacker solo that. Um relatively confident. Recover health and protection on that. That could be useful. Resist a debuff, 2% health and protection. I mean, this is a Wumper Cron, really. I should save that for Wumper. Yeah, we should doubt them. Let's go for the doubt. How can we clean up... How, do, how can we clean up a preloaded Zori team? Oh, God. With, like, with something very good. You'll need, like, a GL or something. Let's go. Uh, yes, the Zori Omi works with Finlead. Of course it does. Let's go ahead and stun Res Hero Fin. Let's then sap, I guess. I should have sapped on, like, that Zori, really. That was, uh, that was a lot. Oh, nearly at him. Oh, wait a minute, he can't die anyway. Let's put airplane mode on, because now I get nervous. Let's poke. We need to, um, we need to poke lots and get everybody under max health, really. They need to all lose their protection, don't they? So, over here. She's dropped below. I'm still feeling okay right now. I feel like we've got plenty of health at the moment. So I'm not going to go into ult just yet. Everybody's dropped below now. I'm still feeling okay. Let's swipe. I'm still feeling okay. I think we can get to at least a two on the ultimate. Let's do the stun. I'm feeling fine. And I'm feeling by and good. Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. Yeats. <laughs> All right. So I think we didn't, we lost out on some banners there. Oh, we got the full health back though. 58. Um, yeah. All right. That was good. That was very good. So we've gone against Trench before with the Sidious Cron and that's worked out for us. So Trench, Dooku and what? And it's got the level 9 for Trench. What's it got on the level 6? It's the Days one. Immunity to Days. And Potency Up and Tenacity Up. I mean, the Potency Up, Tenacity Up one is really annoying for Dooku. Uh, for Sidious, but let's have a look. So Sidious only 54%. Not risking that. Not risking that. What have we actually got available? That's that's that I suppose is the main thing. Um, yeah, we don't actually have a lot. We don't actually have a lot to deal with this, so we could be in a spot of bother here. We've got like dash hand chewy, um, but I don't think that's got great win ratio. I might have played myself into a corner here just a smidge. Dash hand chewy. 53% is really not good. We don't have, don't have, don't have. I mean, I do have EP Mara Jade. We just don't have Star Killer. So I don't think that there's going to be anything useful that we can make out of this, this, and this. Maybe those two and Malak. Um, yeah, I probably should have planned this out a little bit better. Probably should have planned this out a little bit better. Gungans with the 57. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, but our, our Thrawn is on defense as well. All right, this is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be fun. I might have screwed myself with the Trench team right at the end. Not saving myself a team for Trench. Okay, so Sorty GG. Let's have a look there. Sorty GG, Droidica. 
and it has... We're going to have to plan this out properly now. The target lock one. Uh, okay, so it's Bad Batch. We Bad Batch this. So Bad Batch, then the Seer team. It's Seer, Cal, Fulcrum. With, what's the Cron? Bonus protection. That's what we used before, the Bounty Hunters. Yeah, this hasn't got a good win rate because Cal. So maybe we Bounty Hunter that. So it's basically Bad Batch the GG, Bounty Hunters the Seer. And go from there. Let's see what we can get done here, guys. <laughs> Gain a buff. Recover health and protection. Gain some extra potency and crit damage. That seems good to me. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So we immediately eat at the start. That could be bad for me. I'll roll this out anyway. Pass this over here. Oh, I thought that cleansed for some reason. I want to get the triple stack soap as quickly as possible. There we go. Get rid of that. Come on. Roll it out. That's one son GG. Oh, I think he had foresight, actually, didn't he? Oh, that was close. That was very close. Now, let's just do a basic here to help with the cooldowns. Definitely pass that over. Get rid of all these buffs. I want to get rid of that droidica. Go on. AoE, get him. Yes, there we go. Stop focusing on my poor Echo, would you? Oop. Oop. Roll it out. Kill GG. Go on. Or completely miss him. That also works. Not an ideal scenario to be in. But uh, it's not like we're going to lose. I just hate losing all the banners, I guess. Come on. If we can pass over and finish off this GG now. Oh. Obviously, we're not getting the double tap because he's got that tenacity up. And that tenacity up is stopping landing the exposes. So, um, yeah, we dropped the banner. It's fine. I don't I don't support any football team, Shremer. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So... This Seer team. We're saying that Wumper is no good here, I think. Wumper, 25% win ratio. I'm not risking it. An R5 one, recovering health and protection. Did it. An R8 one, with doubts. Did it. And the rest of them are kind of trash. Maybe we could do it with ours. I think we probably could do it with our Relic 9 one. Like, Relic 9 Wumper, with that Datacron we were holding on, this one here, when we resist a debuff, we recover 2% health and protection. And this has got quite a bit of health. 
Wasn't there another one? Yeah, 70% additional health and some health steal. Hey, Vader. I'm, I'm not sure what, what's going on. Why are you yelling? <laughs> what do you think, guys? Should we risk Wumper Relic 9 against this? Just gives us some more options down south. Do it? Yeah, why not? We'll go for it. Will it? You know, this might cost us the game, but hey, let's have some fun. Fulcrum's only Relic 5 in this one, so I'm hoping that we should be okay. Oop. Good. And now we just have to ramp. Like, obviously I want to get rid of Fulcrum. She's the main... She's the main villain. Oh, but then again, so is... So is Sia, really. Sia's a ticking time bomb. Wampa tanking it like a boss. Let's just keep ramping that offense. We want a Wampa. Keep on ramping. We need to ramp like we've never ramped before. Get rid of that. Oh, we can't get rid of the Foresight because she got damage immunity. That's frustrating. Oh, Wampa can't miss on a basic. I, I always forget about that. Yeah, I didn't realize that the Seer is something that we really have to be concerned about here. There's a lot to be really concerned about. Ooh. Can we finish her? Nice! <laughs> huge. Absolutely huge. Now we just need to get rid of Sia before she starts to throw stuff at us really heavily. I'm doing that for the bonus protection. Come on, keep ramping. See, that's the thing that scares me. And the fact that, you know, we're just doing no damage to Seer, of course. Well, we're starting to deal damage to Seer. Keep ramping. Like we're... St yeah, still hanging in there. Ramp. In that bonus prop. Ramp. Let's put it on auto. Um, hard to tell if I'm winning at this point. I think we're doing okay in this battle. I think we're doing okay. I'm worried that Seer is going to do a big yeet and just delete Wampa. Like this. Okay, he's still hanging in there. She's still hanging in there. Come on, get rid of Seer. Alright, that's it. It's game. We're done. We got it. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Cal ain't gonna be able to do anything. Whew, baby. Sometimes you just gotta give Wampa the time to ramp. That's all you need. That's all she needs. Hello? Game? <laughs> Phew! <laughs> God. <laughs> I was getting a bit worried then for a minute. 
I was getting a bit worried. I was like, uh, hello? <laughs> so it's this trench team, guys. This trench team is going to cause us issues, I think. I'm kind of tempted right now to go EP Mara Jade Malak. I feel like this is our best bet. No joke, Melkacel. I don't ha based on Swigger.gg, nothing I've got has got more than a 50% win ratio against this. So I'm like, uh-oh. I mean, we could do this one. I don't have any more doubt crons, unfortunately. Dash Hand Chewy doesn't have a great win ratio either. I mean, it, it can work. If we go new, if we go Trench over here. So it's Trench, Dooku, what? And then we put on Trench level 9, the immunity to Daze. And I think it was the potency up, tenacity up for two turns. Dash Hand Chewy's got 53% win ratio. Like, I don't have Star Killer. So I can't use that. Don't have Afra. Don't have Treya. Do have Dash and Chewy, so that's 53. Uh, we do have Sidious, but again, it's just 54% win ratio. Don't have Gas. I do have the Mandalorians, I just don't have Maul. I do have Gungans. Yeah, I just don't have Maul. So, I mean, what we could theoretically do is we could do Gar Saxon ISC Piet. Potentially. But I don't know theoret I think this theoretically probably does better. The thing is, is Dooku is going to stealth the team. So we're not going to be getting counterattacks. With Maul, it's obviously very easy because of the mass assists. This, I feel, thanks to Malak, should cope better. I don't have the team for Darkseid Mando's out of hand. That's, th that's my only issue. I feel like this is my best bet. I think I'll do this. If this fails, I'll try Gungans. Okay, Stuart? Let's go for it. Yeah, the trench con's full effect. Now, the guy I see two man I'm not comfortable with. Alrighty, so he's got, he's just going to cleanse it, so I think maybe stun over here. At least we'll stealth. Oh, that's not ideal. It's just basic. Got the shock on him. Go and get feared. I don't know why I bothered doing that. He's he's gonna get cleansed anyway. Alright. Kinda wanna get rid of this trench. Huge. That trench is done. He's cooked. Yeah, sure. Let's suck him off. I do need to get round to that what, though. The fact that he's stealthed is a little bit inconvenient. Malak was a huge choice here. Malak was such a good choice here. Come on. It's 
Stun him. Huge. No more counters. We got it. Nailed it. 55. Okay, I don't think that was a great banner full clear, but it was okay. 278. 2078. It's decent enough. He's going to have a hard time beating that. I think. I hope. Whew. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, what did Malak do to Dooku? He sucked him off. That's that's Malak's specialty. Did you not know that Malak's specialty is the Gluck Gluck 9000? Sith on Sith action, baby. You know. <laughs> yeah, 2078 is a decent enough score. So Ball is very much firmly in his court. Um, he set some interesting teams on defense. Some interesting teams on defense there. The, the Malakos team with Lord Vader was interesting. <laughs> the no gag special. <laughs> it's official. Malak has no gag reflex because he's been sucking off Sith like it's going out of fashion. Um, <laughs> that's why he's got a removable jaw. <laughs> Malak's, the real reason Malak's got a removable jaw is because too much of the Gluck Gluck 9000, he had have to have jaw replacement surgery. The king of the esophag esophagus. You people are terrible. All brilliant. Um, yeah, so, the, like, the, the Lord Vader Malakos team was interesting. I don't think that this was worth it, because it still kind of got wrecked by Bo-Katan Mandalore. I never think that it's worth splitting your Malgus like this. I mean, it lets him keep DR and Basti for offense, but this just feels like it's, it's easily beaten by a, a couple of things. Um, this lot was fine. These teams were, were perfectly fine on defense. We just had a lot for offense, so... What a way to finish him off. That's right. The Gluck Gluck 9000 always finishes him off. Um, and down here, like, Leia is fine. The, like, these are all... He's just trying to draw out teams, trying to burn through my better teams, which he did successfully. Um, if I'd have gone for a heavier defense, I probably would have struggled. I pro <laughs> probably would have struggled. But in the end, I think everybody was satisfied, especially after that Gluck Gluck 9000. So, ball is officially in pause court. Let's see how he gets on. I'll, I'll show you my front wall defense, because why not? Why not? We've got our own trench extraordinaire. Same datacron, I think, actually. So, uh, mine's got the target lock, so it kind of shuts out Wampa. No Wampa solos over here. And then we've got, um, you know, trench is level 9. It's got some decent stats on here. Health steal, extra health and protection, some offense. Uh, Bane, Shroomer, Shroomer. Bane. The Iden here is just to try and bait Wampa with the scout. He can still Wampa it, but chances are lower. Uh, this is just trash. This is just trash. This is decent. The uh, Fin Finzori team is decent. It's got the, you know, you must take them below 100% health. It's got the Fin assists, and it's got the, well, I mean, the level 3 is crap. The level 3 is crap. Look at all that accuracy. I had such terrible stat rolls for this. What fight do you think is the highlight of the night? <sighs> That's a good point, Ardahan. What do you guys think with the highlights of the night? Did anybody clip any of the battles? I need to start asking people to do that. Start clipping the battles, guys. It's good fun. I love watching over them and I post them over my YouTube. Um, This over here, I think this has also got the target lock. Yeah. This is, again, me hoping to bring out a Wampa and hoping it fails. Clips can only be up to one minute. This is absolutely true. Um, this was actually a mistake. I was supposed to pull this off defense. And then we've got our own Rex Rex 5, our own Leia, and our own DTMG Kron. Normally, like, I advise putting Scout in this team. Honestly, it makes it so much better. But I've, I've gone for a sacrifice to try and split those teams to just make him use additional stuff elsewhere. Should you focus on unlocking Jabba or go for gas? Very close. Talking fortified relics. Are you, you, how far are you from Jabba? Just clip everything back to back and make the whole stream one short video. I love it. Well, just just replicate the entire stream in 60 second segments. You know, we've only been going around for like probably an hour or something. The Jedi Knight Luke 
Nuke on Chirrut. Oh yeah, that was kind of sexy. <laughs> that was kind of sexy. You get, uh, um, yeah, if somebody's got channel points, you can redeem the channel points for the kittens. Um, and then we'll probably close it out, guys. We'll probably close it out. 2078, I'm quite happy with. Obviously, we could have been higher. We weren't super efficient everywhere. But he set a relatively tough defense. So this is how it goes when you play efficiency. A stretch. I'm not doing a build Sally up. Once I have my energy back, I'll do that, Bazinga, all right? I have been ignoring it for two streams or three streams now. Uh, we will get it done, I do promise you. But um, I'm just exhausted at the moment. Decent ballad, solid score. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty solid score. 2078, it's, it's like he can't afford to drop a battle. He has to be clean and he has to be at least a little bit efficient. If not, we'll find uh, we'll find something to raid into. Time for the best part of the stream. Treats for the smudge bear. All right, I'll go get the kittens. Hold on. Before you go, please meet the mascots of the tribe. We must get the kittens. They were having a nap. They were both having a nap, weren't you? You were cuddling downstairs. Oh, yes. He's tired. Look how tired Smudgy is. He's like, oh, Dad, I was having a nap, but there's always time for dreamies. Good boy, Smudges. Last one, Smidgy Bear. Last one. And the dreamy dust. Down you go. Hello, my girl. It's the Indie Kits. ASMR Indie. Oh, you're good, yeah. You're good, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, that's my finger. It's not dreamies. Ow, claws. Get your claws off my mic. Expensive bloody mic, Indy. <laughs> okay, one more. One more, little girl. Hi! Hey, that's my finger. Trying to make a short with the Gluck Gluck 9000? Indeed, Shroma. Watched Rogue One last last night. Ro I love Rogue One. It's one of my favourite Star Wars films. She might be tired, but the food takes priority. It definitely does. She's kind of growing out of the finger-biting stage. She's still nibbling my fingers a little bit there. Any good counters for a Sarge lead with TW Omi? Uh, anything that prevents revives, Darren. Like Gas would probably do it. Bounty Hunters would do it if you've got enough going on. 
They're playing Swigger Dreamies, indeed. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send you on to somebody. Let's see who is currently live. Who is currently live, guys? I will find someone. I can see Calvin is live. I'm going to send you guys over to Calvin on both YouTube and Twitch. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you had an enjoyable time. I will see you all most likely tomorrow. It depends on how, how well I'm feeling. If not, definitely Friday night for the stateside stream. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to match up with Arnold. Hopefully. All right, guys. Peace out. See you soon.